Double loots. Ugh. Jimmy, your body is ready. Mine too. They've turned off the heat. I'll show you something. All right. So in the Beijing apartment, heater is on the wall. Because we're into March, they've turned off the heat. So it's sweater season indoors right now. It's still pretty damn cold. We'll be turning off the heat. So we have to go through this transition period. All right. Welcome to another edition of Super Tech Deals. I'm your host, James Oliver. I'm going to wait for some people to trickle in. Third stream of the week. We're getting consistent with it again. Mm -hmm. More of these ad hoc phone streams. James S. asking, Lutz, what should I take to open up my sinuses? It's a good question. Popcorn, I'm glad you're streaming, but how am I supposed to sleep now? By listening to the boring content of my stream, it'll put you right to sleep, don't worry. My voice helps too. My dulcet Eeyore drones will help you fall asleep in no time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today, after I shaved, I had a very late night last night. Could not fall asleep, much on my mind. How are you, says Sharpshooter? What's up, buddy? Welcome back. So let me whack out a shave and get some food in me. Then we're going to have a look at the steam sale in more detail because it's still going. The steam spring sale is going for a couple more days. Some of you guys are saying you're pretty nonplussed by some of their offers. But I feel like there are some hidden gems within the steam sale because if you look at the sales lists, they don't include everything. We found that yesterday. For example, a game I'd had my eye on for a while, Chivalry 2, which is a first-person or third-person adjustable camera. Hack and slash. Think of an FPS with uh, swords and uh, halberds instead of guns in the, in the heretic vein. And I didn't see that on any of the main Steam sales lists, but lo and behold, big discount. I managed to cop that game for like five bucks. That's because my Steam store is set to the Thai region, and Thailand is one of the cheapest Steam regions in the world. Lutz says, "Did you find? Do you find a closer shave if you have stubble? Do I find a closer shave if I have stubble?" Uh, I always have stubble, so I'm not sure how to answer that. I mean, my, my hair grows fast. James says, all, always War of Rights. War of Rights is that Civil War game that keeps popping up in my YouTube shorts feed. Because there's a funny, there's a funny black dude named Drew, who always joins the Confederate Army <laughs> and gets shot by friendly fire once they realize he's black and they're all LARPing as racists. Have you guys been seeing those videos? I am actually tempted by those videos to play some War of Rights. Yeah, okay, we'll look we'll see if that's on sale as well. That's a Steam game, right? Eh? Notorious non-racist. The brother says spell and I will sub. What am I spelling? Well, let me make a scroll up. Spell attic and I will sub. <laughs> that would be impossible. All right, let me catch up with the rest of the chat. Give me a second. I'm doing a hasty shave here. Hack job shave. A-T-T-I-C. Okay, we did it. Kevin did it for you, brother. Uh, Lutz says, eat some spicy pho, bros. Eat some spicy pho. Notorious, hi, James. Want to say hi, but I'm not going to be in the stream a lot. I'm spending time with my friends, but I just wanted to uh, come in and say I hope you have a good day. Thank you, buddy. What are you doing with your friends? You have to rob a liquor store? That sounds good. He's being productive out there. That's good. Thanks for doing the stream. That's our friend Notorious Non-Racist, who has uh, 
Changed his racist ways. We like to see that. We like to see that. Okay. Sideburns are getting a little long. It's time for a whole ass haircut. We'll do that after the stream. Been avoiding the barber. It's a good life hack to save money. Just let your hair grow crazy. All right. Good enough. Good enough. We'll take it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Looking five days younger. All right. Let me get this off my face. I feel like I missed some spots, but it's okay. All right, let's get this cooking. So we're in my bathroom, as you can see. Let me scroll through the chat real quick before we go to the other room. Sharpshooter, how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Always War of Rights, Spell Attic, Spell Attic. Uh, okay, James S. talking about his sinuses are plugged, notorious. Non-racist going to rob a liquor store with his buddies. Richard Dugans, what's going on in here? Well, we're having a general life discussion before we have a look at the Steam sale together, if you know what I mean. Lute says, sorry, I meant James S. The brother says, thank you, I submitted. Okay, yes, you, do, you sub, I dom. Richard says, voting Biden. Who is Biden? Random guy says, just the two of us. Just the two of us, buddy. Big Pimp Magic's back. Did someone say rob a liquor store? I'm in. Mmm. <laughs> That a lucrative side hustle? Big Pimp Magic, I have a question for you. Okay. If you were to rob a liquor store, can you talk me through it? How would you get away with it? What do you think? Because there's cameras everywhere these days, right? Do you have any advice for us? How to get away with a liquor store robbery? A good old-fashioned liquor store stick-up. For the kids out there watching. Ugh. Who needs some advice? God damn, is it cold in here today. And there's no heat. I can't do anything about it. Except just put more layers on. I might have to put the leather jacket on in a second here. All right, Kevin says, we can make it if we try. That's true, Kevin. But what if we don't try? Zaddy says, why scrape spooge off your face? Why? It's a dumb question. Notorious says, I'm playing Mortal MK1 with them. We are G I I I it at chillin' tonight. Don't know what that means. MK1's a good game, though. Ryan says, you're cooking in your bathroom? What are you cooking in your bathroom? Nah, just a figure of speech. Cooking up a stream. Loot says, there are also massages and pulls your face to clear your sciences. Hmm, never considered that. Okay. Have you, have you tried just inhaling something? Just inhaling some steam off your stove? Maybe, like, get a pot of hot water going and uh, breathe it in? That might loosen things up, right? Big Pimp Magic says, no face, no case. Always make sure you've got your trusty balaclava. Okay, that's a good uh, tip. We're asking for tips for robbing liquor stores. Kevin says, you break in at night and clean the whole place out. Okay, liquor stores. That'd have to be at night. We're talking, what, like 4 a.m.? Random Guy says, James, have you tried playing with me? It's pretty cool so far. Just the two of us. No, I haven't. Umar says, you look like a potential serial killer. Thank you, buddy. <clears throat> They're usually pretty good looking guys, right? In a Jeffrey Dahmer vein. Mystic Cage said, Would you ever pray to the devil in order to succeed financially? Mm, no. No, I've had mostly uh, negative run ins with demons. I don't think I trust one with my finances. Uh, Excited Husky says, Hi. Hey, what's up, buddy? Notorious says, Just sorry, I'm in the middle of a match. Okay. I meant just. Oh, okay. He's just playing some MK1. Who's your main in MK1? Who's your guy? Who's your go-to when you want to fuck your buddies up? Random says, when a serial killer meets a serial killer. Random says, you better win or else. Mitchell says, change your socks, stinky man. It's funny you mention that. Um, I did put on some worn socks, used socks uh, today, but uh, they passed the smell check. You might have a better sense of smell than me, though. This is a problem when you start uh, cohabitating with females. You realize you can't smell anything compared to them, and it can lead to some embarrassing moments. Big Daddy says, this guy's stuck in the 80s. Because of my hairstyle or my sweater or both, or my just general attitude. I was born in the 80s, so uh, you might be right. Michelle Grammy says, hi. Hello, Michelle. Brian says, never sell your soul. All right, noted. We won't sell our souls. This is good stuff. We're going to dip into the mailbag today. Waiting to see if some more regular members of our 
our, our versioning community. We're going to stop by in a second. I can smell your feet in Canada, says Kevin. Yeah, all the way over there. You can smell my feet, bud. Uh, excited Husky, how much do you pray? Not enough. Not enough. Would you like to pray with me? Umar says, I know something about you. Your name is James, and you're having a midlife crisis. It's, it's true. You're very astute. Naka says, hey, man, God loves you. Thank you. Mitchell Baker says, I can see them socks from us. Smell them socks from Australia. You in Australia? What do they smell like? Naka says, love yourself the same way. Big Pit Magic, the 80s and 90s was the best decades. Um, I grew up in the 80s and 90s. It was all right. Uh, Random Guy says, did you pray today? Because if not... Getting biblical in here. Free samples. What's up, James? Hey, buddy. Should we say a gratitude prayer, my Christian homeboys? Is that is that uh, the way we're leaning here? I was talking about this yesterday, but I do need to be more grateful because I do a lot of complaining. Yes? we got to balance that out. Uh, Mystic Cage says, if I pay you $300, would you pray to the devil to curse my mean boss so I can have this position? <clears throat> Praying to the devil is sending a uh, very negative message to the universe, is it not? Brian Sposs says, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you, Brian. I hope you are too. What are you going through right now? Ola says, Dibzeta. Dibzeta? Random, random guy, does James not know the did you pray today meme? I don't know it. Richard says, favorite superhero and why? I like the Green Lantern because I find his power to be very creative. And I found that the writers, uh, illustrators on Green Lantern comics had a lot of fun with that, but uh, he got done dirty in the movies, and I think if you're going to do a Green Lantern film, it's hard, because there's a lot of dumb-looking creatures in the Green Lantern universe. I would probably do the one with Guy Gardner, that's the Green Lantern, is a ginger with a bowl haircut, and Lobo, when they had a crossover series in the comics. I can't remember the name of that comic book series, but it was my favorite Green Lantern one. Uh, I would want to do something with that. And Jason Momoa would be would be the, my pick as Lobo. I don't know who would play Guy Gardner. I guess there's an option. You can go with someone young for that. James S. says, James, what would it cost to have you act as Mr. Rogers and give me a therapy session? I would do that for free. We can start now. Australians are just New Zealanders that fuck kangaroos, says the zaddy. Is that true? Hmm, that's coming from an Australian. I guess he would know. Naka says, the world we live in is so beautiful and time is short. Love your fellow people and great things are coming your way. That's very good advice. Excited Husky, what is your favorite food? <clears throat> hmm. I think my favorite guilty pleasure food would be a deep dish like Chicago style pizza with just heaps and heaps of sauce and cheese. Sports says you're alive again. You're alive again. I am. What's up, my young friend? How's school? How's sports going? How's the uh, Christian Athletic Fellowship you're a member of? Uh, Brian Spross says, who are your favorite space cops? <clears throat> my favorite space cops are the Red Letter Media guys, obviously. Malaya Vlog says, from Kerala, India. What's up, India? Steve says, strong cheekbones. Thank you. It's all I've got going for me other than the hair. Lutz says, you like Gambit. You said so, Mon Sherry. Gambit's my favorite X-Man, yeah, for sure. I think uh, just general superhero, I, I want to toss uh, Green Lantern in the mix. Overwatch Diva. Edna's back. James, good to see you live. I'm going to the Grand Finals in esports right now. Been very busy in practice with my team, and we only have two hours of breaks per day. Edna, you said you were going to stream for us. Is that not is that not doable? The esports channel on the Discord server are getting uh, very hyphy. They want to know where you are and what's going on. But uh, thanks for checking out the update. That's Edna, guys, also known as Diva Overwatch on our server. Random guy says, this is random, but I hate when people say they were born in the wrong era. We could literally cook stuff with air. Like, uh, what more do you want? <laughs> Sounds like you're working for your Type 5... Uh, uh, for some open mic night there, but uh, I like your sentiment. We can air fry shit. What more do you want? Popcorn Fire says, O Father, O Satan, O Son, let the children come to thee. Behold the morning star. Akafalos, shine through me. Come forth in war, come forth in peace. Wow, we're getting deep in the chat. Hi, says Syria girl. Hello. I hope all is well in Syria. Uh, I'm trying to think on the topic of gratitude and prayer, since you guys keep asking me about this. Um... What was it again? I had I had a gratitude prayer that I, I would repeat through kind of darker times. Through darker times, especially when I was going through my divorce and uh, I was trying to self-soothe. I was in a very dark place. It went something like this. Uh, Thank you, Lord, for your love. It brings me peace. And 
Oh, sorry. Thank you, Lord, for your love. It brings me acceptance and significance. I thank you, Lord, for your honesty. It brings me uh, guidance and direction. I thank you, Lord, for your mercy. It brings me help and comfort. And I thank you, Lord, for your faith and for having faith in me. And that's something that I would just repeat to myself as a mantra when I was kind of on the brink of tears in public or something. I was going through a very, very bad time emotionally. I was very much alone uh, being in, in China and China going through a... Uh, not just a divorce and separation, but but uh, I had a child involved in that too. And uh, yeah, a lot of self-hate, a lot of shame, a lot of feelings of uh, wanting to uh, end things. And I found that really helped. And I found that through that simple mantra, I reconnected with God. And um, I went back to church and I rejoined that community for a time. And uh, it really helped me through. And I think that's one of those prayers that uh, works in any religion, to be honest. I think just kind of being grateful in those moments and being grateful to a higher power is uh, very, very helpful. And I suppose if you're an atheist, you could apply something similar by simply being grateful to the universe, just expressing that um, you're happy to be here and happy for another ch shot at another day. Random guy says, pro tip, never tell people your name online. Okay, well, my name's not James Oliver then. Uh, the Zaddy says, how about we talk about how much you've accomplished tonight? What did I accomplish? Lute says, wow, you can't escape God once you're exposed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? That sounds like a threat. Decent guy says, the universe is gay, though. Yeah, I felt that way sometimes. Mm-hmm. Overwatch says, I bought the Cowboy Bebop bundle with all the skins. I used eSports funds. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, Edna, Overwatch Diva, you keeping an eye on the Steam sale? We're going to have a look at the Steam sale together in a minute, see if we missed anything. Steam sale is going on until the 21st, so you got like one more day uh, if you want to cop anything for the Steam Spring sale. Sports says it's going well. Sports is our young buddy in uh, high school, if I recall correctly. We have started to see a lot of people accept Jesus into their hearts. I'm going to school tomorrow morning to do some football drills and work out. How's life going for you? That's good. Um... Yeah, it's, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm feeling a little bit better. Let me put some light in my eyes so I don't look... Let me see here. Put a, little, put a little light in my eyes so I don't look quite as dead. Does that help? All right, feeling a bit better. Uh, yeah, thank you for asking, uh, my, my young brother. I'm feeling better. Uh, it's good to be back and streaming. I was going through a bout of illness as the seasons changed. And I wasn't looking after myself. I was uh, drinking too much alcohol. I was staying out too late at night and uh, just kind of fell to the dark side for a little while. But uh, we're back. We're getting the health back. I'm going to get back in the gym. After I wrap up this stream, I'll head back to the boxing club. I'll hit things. I'll break a sweat. And uh, we got to get our eating back on point as well. For me, it means I need to be eating more food actually, uh, and making sure that it's healthy. Lots of uh, vegetables and meats. So that's me checking in. Uh, Loot says, Overwatch 2 new skins are $25 each. Cowboy Bebop skins, boycott Overwatch 2. And Edna was saying he already bought those. Okay, I think we're caught up with the chat here. Nick, hey, you're here, buddy. What's up, James? Nick, we'll get into that AI news tonight. I absolutely promise. I'm more awake. We have more time. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. Universe is gay, says decent guy. Craig Miller, don't forget to smash that like button. Yeah, please do that. If you enjoy the stream, you'd like to come and chat more, uh, I'd appreciate it. We're trying to be seen by more people and uh, bring in some new stories and new, new uh, characters into our little community here. So uh, I think hitting the like button and subscribing obviously would help do that. So if you feel so inclined, go ahead. Big Pink Magic says, I agree with you 100%. Got to enjoy life the best we can while we're, while we're here. Absolutely. It's just hard to do on some days, isn't it? Zaddy says, I mean, you're here with a cult. I'm sure you're on a bunch of lists. Definitely not a cult. We're blessed that you are still here, says sports. God says, KYS is a sin. It is ending what he has planned for you. Glad you're with us. What is KYS? I'm curious. Goofy Goose, I have a question. I would really appreciate it if you could answer. Goofy Goose, I'm here for you. Overwatch Diva, James, I was thinking you should do one of those Steam cards that gives 100 game codes and see what you get. They're like 30 or 40 bucks on the black market. Hmm. And it's legit? ish i'd be tempted that'd be good for game giveaways on the show which we haven't done for a long time we got to bring back game giveaways you just reminded me and uh, nick and some of the other uh, members of uh, our our team here have donated some game game giveaway codes so yeah 
The problem is I, I beat the shit out of the keyboard where you, we were using in the keyboard smash sweepstakes, so I need a new one to do that. All right, random guy says, James, hypothetically, how much do I have to pay you to go on a date with me? Uh, a date with a random guy? Well, what would we be doing on that date? You thinking Chuck E. Cheese, bud? Or uh, you got any specific plans for me? You know, if we're in the same city, I'd do it for free. Goofy Goose says, can I please ask you a question? You don't need to preface a question with a question. You just fire, fire away, my man. Uh, Nick says, I worship the universe and the science and physics that make up its foundations. It keeps me humble because it reminds me of how in insignificant I am in the grand scheme of things. Okay, that sounds sensible. Can I please ask you questions, says Goofy Goose. I feel like you've already asked me four questions. Shoot from the hip, my man. All right, TY says, hi, James. Can I request you to do a reading of some Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss? Absolutely. Let me cue that up. That's a very good idea. Green Eggs and Ham. Is that public domain yet? I suppose the Seuss family still owes, owns it. So let me see if I can find it anywhere online. Mm. I'm going to need the text here. Mm, so far, no good. Maybe you can write some of it and I'll read it out. Maybe you type some in the chat, all right? Green eggs and ham and I'll read the lyrics. Lute says, how does strawberry lemongrass taste like change? Stra strawberry lemongrass is a flavor of vodka that is currently in my kitchen and going un undrunk because uh, I'm taking a month off the sauce. It tastes excellent. That's a Grey Goose. It's a bottle of Grey Goose vodka. And it's, yeah, strawberry lemongrass infused. Note that it's not 40% alcohol. It's 30%. So it's a, it's a softer, smoother taste anyway. But uh, that's about the smoothest goddamn liquor I've ever poured down my throat, I have to say. It's subtly sweet. I read the uh, ingredients. There's no unhealthy additives. Uh, excellent. Worth every penny. Pick that up at a duty-free shop on the way back from Thailand. Uh, yeah. Random guy says, Goofy Goose just asked the question. That's true. Francisco Ideas says, hello. Hello, my Brazilian friend. Principe says, hola, hello. Stuck Prism, you're back. Yo, I'm moving out of my childhood home. Any real advice? How old are you? And uh, what's next for you? You got a job? Are you going to school? Tell me more. All right. Uh, sports says, we all do. I have fallen to temptation. I'm getting over it. I have mostly disconnected myself from social media and bad influences. That sounds good. Thomas Scar, dude, your hair is legit. Thank you, Thomas. That's a nice thing to say. Glenn, the gay guy, are you gay? No, um, I'm not. I'm... Uh, I'm not gay. Thank you for asking. Random guys, I, I, I get why that would be confusing. Did you ask what KYS is? I am asking what K KYS is. Kill yourself? Is it just kill yourself? Craig Miller says, Jordan, is your crush still a virgin? Jordan says, what makes you say that? Craig Miller says, just a question. All right, don't tease Jordan, guys. Random guy says, okay, so first things first, we'd heard over, we'd head over to your house. I'd rob your singular fork and lick it. Now, that doesn't sound like a nice date. So random guy was asking how much he needed to pay me to go on a date with him. I said, I'd do it for free if we're in the same town. And now I'm, I was asking what date activities he has planned. That's some bullshit. You're not even going to court me properly. You're not going to woo me. You're going to come over to my house and lick my sing singular fork. Now, what he's alluding to is um, I preached on here before. If, if you live alone, how many forks, spoons, even if you live with one other person, like how, how much cutlery do you need? Because the more cutlery you have, the more dishes you need to wash, right? So I was saying just have like one fork, one spoon, and one of those big metal dog dishes to eat out of, and uh, you'll never have dishes to do. Your sink can never have more than three or four items in it, and you're going to save a lot of time. All right, that's what, that was one of my old life hacks, if uh, you don't get the reference. Pedals, my dog, says how big is it? How big is what? My schlong? Who cares? You know what I did with my cock? I bronzed it. It's on my mantelpiece collecting dust. That's how much use I'm getting out of my cock. Thank you for asking. Zaddy says, Jordan, salutations. Sports is not really temptation, but cussing and just blatantly disrespecting adults for some reason. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, part of growing up, I guess. I can't talk. I was a real asshole of a kid. I'm cussing right now. Maybe I should stop. Mick says, Swatty Cop, James, 828 subs. I know some people subbed yesterday after that crappy stream. I mean, maybe some people will sub again today. We'll see how it goes. Aster Aster says, this guy looks like John F. Candy. If he, if he was sniffing in the projects, he filled with Coke. Wow, there's layers to that comment. JFK filled the projects with blow? So who filled them with crack? Or is that just the natural progression? 
or is that the CIA? Is that why they killed Kennedy? I have questions. Lutz says the controversial Dr. Seuss. Sports says the devil does that, though. Just got to pray about it. The devil do, the, do be doing that. Uh, Tornado Garden, did the Greeks call the religion mythology? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Well, um, if I had a time machine, although I don't think I'd like to see them buggering children. I was going to say, I might go back there and ask them. But Petals, my dog, says, how big is it? Hunter Bun says, how big is it? Random Guy says, how big is Pennywise from the movie It? Oh, okay, that's the question. Um, he was played by different actors, wasn't he? In the original It, he was quite a tall man. Uh, Big Pimp Magic says, do you like Disarano or Amaretto? I'll go with Amaretto. Uh, Nick says, did you see the Unreal Engine 5 stuff I put in the Discord today? It's looking awesome. Not yet. Craig Miller says, a duty-free shop must not be in San Francisco. And he spelled duty like crap. I see what you're saying. Uh, who's, who's in charge of San Francisco right now? Is it Gavin Newsom? Am I getting that name right? I feel like this has popped up on my YouTube feeds, even though I have no interest in it and uh, I don't live there. The Zaddy says, three months off the sauce, Jimmy and Zaddy, no sauce adventures, 100 years, no sauce, no sauce, Jimmy and Zaddy. So Zaddy, Zaddy, have you been binge drinking or what's your deal? What kind of drinker are you? Because I'm a binge drinker. Once I get going, I, I, uh, I, I lack willpower and make bad decisions. Um and stay out all night. I don't get tired. I don't need the, the toot ski to, uh, to keep me up. And that's not a blessing. That's a curse. It means I'll, I'll go till dawn and beyond and the next day. And it's not good. I'm in my forties. I need to cut that shit out. Zaddy, you strike me more as a, uh, as a daily, uh, 12 pack guy. Is that you edging show so hard for you, Poppy? Thank you, Ryan Green. Uh, that's how the channel's growing, actually. People are coming here to edge. Stuck Prism says, I'm 23. I'm going to school to be an architect. About to graduate this semester. Also, it's good to be back. It's good to see you. 23. So young. Got a whole life ahead of you. That's nice. In a blink of an eye, you'll be 42. It's cliche, but it happens fast. About to graduate this semester. Nice one. Architect. Cool. Cool. Uh, how's the market looking? How, any job prospects uh, lined up? Any talk of that? Sports says alcohol is not a sin. Jesus drank wine. When you limit yourself to how much, it can be fine. True. Uh, Nick says I'm also off the sauce. That's good. Yeah, taking breaks is good. TY says, would you like them with a mouse? Okay. Ryan says, I'm edging for you, Poppy. I'll woo you, Poppy. Thank you, Ryan. We have some homosexual uh, horn boys in here here tonight. Now, I'm not of the Christian proclivity that dislikes the homosexuals. I think uh, I, I do believe some people are born gay, and that's just that's just how it's supposed to be for them. I know that a lot of Christians are going to disagree with that, but uh, you know, I do things I do things how I feel is right. But uh, if you're gay and you're edging to me right now, I'm okay with that. Just don't bust any nuts, all right? Because as soon as you bust nuts, we can't be friends anymore. This is a sex negative space. Jordan says, James, go work out instead of doing these worthless live streams. Jordan, buddy, you are the last person in the universe I would ever take advice from. You don't see anything beyond the blinders that are your 15-year-old life. Why don't you be more like the other uh, teenager in here and open your mind a little bit. And uh, open your mind and engage in some uh, open-minded discourse with adults who want the best for you. And that would be this chat. The people in here, they've gotten to know your story, story, Jordan. And if you were to ask them questions beyond who's your favorite Back to the Future character or would Omni-Man beat Bruce Lee in a fight, if you were to ask actual life questions like, what do you guys think I should do? Should I join the Marines after high school? Should I go to college? What path should I be on? How could I live a happier life? Uh, should I start exercising? What kind of workout routine should I do? How about my diet? Do you guys have any diet advice? Can you guys tell me some tips for learning how to cook? Um, how about the way I'm, I'm dressing? I, I don't really have much money. Do you have any tips for, you know, putting together a better wardrobe? I don't know. Getting better grades at school. There, there's so many questions that you could be asking and mining information from this group of adults who've all been there. And instead, you come in here now and you just tell me, don't do live streams. What you're talking about sucks. You should go work out. I've already established I work out plenty. All right. That's why I'm 42 years old. I'm the same weight and body composition as when I was 18. All right. So we'll see how you're doing when you're 42, buddy. Go kick rocks. Uh, this says you look like the guy from that movie with Dave Chappelle where they smoke pot. 
Oh, I think you're talking about uh, Jay. What the hell's that? Oh, Jimmy Brewer. Jimmy Brewer, right? Okay, I'll take it. Never heard that before. Ghetto Plant says four per utensil. Nick says we do a lot of dishes because my fiance is always cooking. Yeah, fair enough. You live with a woman; they're not going to accept the dog bowl, one fork policy. I understand that. I've lived with women before. First thing they do when they see that is uh, they're kind of their jaw falls open, and and then they realize they've got a lot of work to do to make your home a home. Lute says, "Do you think Will Smith is a cuck?" Yes. Glenn, the gay guy, says, "You need a setting for twelve in case you host friends and family over." I don't think I even know eleven other people. Stuck Prism says, I subbed. Thank you, buddy. I domed. Sports says, if you live alone, five of each silverware, five plates, and five cups. Wash them every, every three days. Makes it easy. No. That's bad habits. Because then you're like piling stuff up in your sink and you always have a messy kitchen. No. If you live alone, one bowl. You don't need plates. Plates are pointless. One bowl. Maybe a second bowl. Smaller bowl. But at most, two bowls. Plates are just bowls without walls on them. They're, they're just like... Less functional bowls, okay? Just get bowls, get a fork, maybe a second fork if you're feeling zesty, but probably you just need one fork. Probably just need one spoon, and you need a couple knives to cut stuff and a cutting board. You need a kind of wok or a saucepan and a pot, and that's it. That's all you need. You don't need anything else. That's it. Okay? There you go. This is my life hacks. All right. Sport Bowl says Bruce. Bruce here. Bruce Campbell. Ghetto Plant says, imagine you have a date come over and she discovers you only have one spoon or fork. Why would I have a date come over? What kind of life do you think I'm living? Craig Miller says, Will Smith is a little light in the loafers. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, Mitchell McMullen says, do you have a guilty pleasure for the booger sugar? Uh, I have indulged. I don't anymore. I have momentum with it, and it scares me. So thank you for asking. All right, Jordan's message got deleted by Nick. Uh, Tornado Garden says, in the book, Pennywise is a shapeshifter. Okay. I remember re reading it as a kid, but uh, didn't really stick with me. Popcorn Fires says agree with Craig. Irish Pug, hey bro, looking healthy, so I'll give you a proper meal? <laughs> Not yet, but thank you. Lute says, do you think Will Smith could be gay and lives a lot alive for likes? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, sure. Probably a lot of Hollywood does that, right? Stuck Prism says, also, I'm moving out with my girlfriend to work with, for a firm in a restaurant. Unrelated, but you're going to watch the Fallout TV show. Definitely. I, I think the trailers look good. It looks like they're staying true to lore and uh, I'll definitely check that out. Now, we've had a good period of uh, video game related series. -es -es. I mean if you look at for example Cyberpunk Edge Runners, excellent. Arcane from the League of Legends uh, lore was excellent. I mean if you'd asked me before Arcane and, Cy and Cyberpunk Edge Runners really surprised me because I just thought those would have been cash-ins and uh, I, I didn't realize the amount of artistry and thought and creativity that really went into those properties. So I don't know. I have high hopes for Fallout. Uh, moving out with my girlfriend, Stuck Prism. So you're moving in with your with your girlfriend. You're moving out of your parents' house and you're going to cohabitate with your girlfriend. Is that true? At age 23, is this the first time you'll be doing this, I'm assuming? We have to talk. Not to talk you out of it. It could be a very lovely and uh, fruitful time in your life that will lead to marriage. But uh, we should talk about the uh, the pitfalls that could come with that. Craig says, Gavin is governor, not mayor. Gavin Newsom is governor of uh, California. Overwatch Diva, ever use a tube amp for your $5 Onikuma? Never have, should I? Ghetto says, you're 40. Yeah, I'm 42. I'll be 43 pretty soon. Zaddy says, I binge gin and tonic, samesies. Ah, that's a bad one, too. At least when I binge, I do straight vodka. The tonic has so much sugar in it, as you know, Zaddy. we got to cut that out. Craig Miller says, there are rumors about Will Smith. Are those new? All right, uh, Ville says AI is already replacing architects. Hmm, that's a scary thought for our buddy who's graduating. Popcorn Fire says Will's mannerisms in Fresh Prince screams flamer. My God, that's that's taking a little bit too far. Random guy says I got a monkey toy thing. Okay, Ghetto Plant says please give us a brief of your life. Uh, what do you do for work and are you married? Uh, I've done that this a few times this week. I'll keep it very short. Um, I'm broadcasting from Beijing, China. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, originally from British Columbia, Canada. And uh, I'm twice divorced. I have a child with my second. And uh, I don't get to see my kid. She kind of like ran off with my kid and she doesn't want my kid to have a father. So that's something I've struggled with a lot in the last few years. It's pretty much been the crux of my life the last few years. 
Um, but just coming to terms with how that is, with that reality, and there's nothing I can do about it because of the laws here in China where I live. I've been in Asia for 20 years, and um, yeah, I have a background in media. Like, so I've worked in broadcasting. I've been a host, producer, editor. I've done all kinds of different work around, generally around media. I've worked briefly in radio, and uh, yeah, that's kind of my home. My home is wh where I want to be is on television hosting shows. That's kind of my passion. And that led to, I actually quit broadcast television because my network was treating us quite poorly and were very late to pay me. And uh, the salary wasn't good anyway. And it was a toxic environment. So I quit. I went into the private sector as a freelancer. Eventually that led me to a company called Newegg where I was hosting and writing videos for their uh, tech products. And then I was hosting a live stream for almost two years there uh, where I really fell in love with live streaming as a medium because it reminded me so much of live television. Except even better because we've got a chat so we can interact more personably than I could during my TV period. Um, so that's a brief overview of my life. And what I'm trying to do with this channel is uh, we're trying to grow our subs to a thousand so we can open the YouTube shop and then I'll get into touch with some of the brands I used to work with at Newegg. And uh, hopefully we'll have some products on sale on here in the near future, give you guys some exclusive discounts on some Chinese tech that doesn't suck. Hope that answers your questions. But now, because I read every comment, uh, we've been talking a lot in these streams about life, about where we're at in life, about relationships. Uh, but we try to anchor the, the streams in PC hardware and PC gaming discussion as well. So it's a mix. Some days we skew a lot more heavily into... <laughs> non-PC hardware discussion and non-gaming discussion, more into our personal lives. Uh, but today I think we're gonna balance that out. Zaddy says, now nah, I don't drink too often, but when I do, decisions are made. I commit to decisions, things happen. Sometimes I wake up with regrets. Other times I wake up with questions like, where are my pants? We make life of light of binge drinking, but it can lead to dire consequences. It can lead to waking up in relationships. It can lead to unwanted pregnancies. It can lead to drunken driving charges. It can lead to uh, violence. It can lead to self-harm and injury. It can lead to all sorts of things. I think as a culture, we just, we're too used to laughing at binge drinking. It's very, very unhealthy. It does damage your brain. As you get older, especially if you have dementia in your bloodline like I do, it can lead to early onset dementia. Um, alcohol is a hell of a drug. It's a very dangerous drug. So I just want to lay that out there. I remember when I was just kind of uh, trying to gloss over this to my mother once on a, on a video call a couple of years ago. I was like, yeah, you know, every time I go out, I just black out. I just get blackout drunk. Isn't that crazy? I guess as I get older, I just get blackout drunk. And she's crying on the other end. She's like, blackout drunk. Do you even hear yourself? Do you know how badly you're damaging your brain? Do you know that we have dementia in our family? And you, you're going to trigger some early onset dementia? And you, and you do boxing as a hobby? It's like, you know, how? what are you doing to your brain? What, what are you doing? And I had a moment of clarity. I was like, oh, shit, she's right. This isn't a joke. This is something I think especially like for people who go to college and, you know, that kind of party lifestyle. And ah, I drank my way through college and all this. This is hardcore binge drinking. And it sets us up to normalize this kind of behavior. There's nothing normal about getting blackout drunk, especially when you're a grown-ass man my age. This is very, very bad. So, yeah, fucking reality check. For me, in a way, if you're an expat like I am, if you're living very far from home for, for so long, uh, we, become a, we become kind of Peter Pan. We, there's a lot of Peter Panning, Peter Pan syndrome going on amongst my fellow uh, expats because we're so far away from people who really know us. We can kind of live however we want. And I have met people who specifically came this far from home to drink themselves to death. Like they're just like, yeah, I just want to drink in peace. And they, they end up uh, not pulling through. So just some food for thought, I guess. If you're a young person and you're surrounded by people normalizing, getting blackout drunk at parties and shit like this. Uh, yeah, I was that guy. Um, part of me still is that guy. Let's not be that guy. Let's just not. All right, Ryan Green says, I would bust a nut through bulletproof glass. No, don't bust any nuts, just keep edging. Just Shurnet. It's a cool name. What is a sex negative space? Ha, I was scrolling on shorts and your video popped up right at that point. <laughs> this is a sex negative space. This is a sex negative space. I'm not trying to encourage anyone to uh, have sex or date. I'm trying to discourage it because of how my life went. 
let's take some time out and just uh, play PC games and work on ourselves. Zaddy says, Ryan, I like you. You can stay. You like that he's going to bust nuts through glass? Random guy says, James, start working out while streaming. Do 10 push-ups or else you're replacing your fork with a salt fork. What the hell is a salt fork? Don't do that. 10 push-ups. It's a waste of my time. TY says, James, are chicken feet actually good? No, I don't like it at all. I feel like it wouldn't be good. No. I'm not into all this, like, bony, cartilage chicken. I think that's something you need to grow up eating. Chinese people love the chicken feet. Not everyone, but, you know, a lot of people eat it. Lutz says, Burt Kreischer had some Will Smith rumors. Well, if that's your source of news. Ghetto Plant says, you look 18. I am 42. Thank you, buddy. Ryan says, thank you, Zaddy. This man is the literal definition of the Alpha Chad. I am an Alpha Chad? Me? Skin is flawless, 42. Mm, could be the lighting. I mean, I'm under a lot of light right now. It's not exactly flawless. If I get closer to the camera. But yeah, 42. I'll be 43 in June. I eat healthy. I eat healthy. That's the only thing I do well. And I exercise. I haven't been drinking enough water this week, but normally I try to put down about a gallon a day in American ease, which is about, what, three liters? I try to put down about three liters a day. Craig Miller says, at Jess Chernet, sex negative is seeking self-actualization goals rather than crashing and burning even more relationships. Wow, Craig put that a lot better than I did. Thank you, Craig. That's what we're talking about. Ryan's edging for Trump. Just Chernet says that. Craig Miller, thanks. Makes sense. Connor C. Can I pop that thing on your nose? Well, you can't because it's not a it's not a pimple. It's um I don't know what these are, like skin tags. I need to get it lasered off, actually. I've got another one up here. And I got another one here or somewhere. Yeah, there. So I'll, I'll get these lasered off at some point. Random guy says, James, I'll buy an extra fork so we can share some pasta together. We don't need it. We just slurp it like a lady in the tramp. You want that moment with me? Tornado Garden says, never put dirty dishes in the sink since you have to remove them to wash them. That's a good point. This is what I'm talking about. Get one dog bowl and one fork and you're good. I think Shunet likes James' says sports. Shunet's, uh, Shunet's our buddy. She can, uh, she can do what she wants. In fact, I'm going to make her a uh, mod. Ryan Green says, plates are bowls without walls. That's right. They're just uh, shittier bowls. Ghetto Plant says, you're giving advice for people who don't want to date. That's right. Mitchell says, you look like Robert Pattinson with a cold. Well, uh, yeah, normally I get called Robert Pattinson with full-blown AIDS, so I'll take that. Craig Miller says, at Jess Shurnett, has some pretty wide-ranging discussions. Compliments equal liking, says Jess Shurnett. Really? But sure, I like it here. Uh, it's okay, Jess Shurnett. Some of the, some, there's some young people in the chat who uh, you know, are still discovering social nuances. Random guy says, why would I have a date come over? James forgot about me, says random guy. You're counting yourself as a date? Listen, if you come to Beijing, China, you can come over, but uh, don't be bringing more forks in here. The Zaddy says, oh, not financial advice, but if Sophie, S-O-F-I, dips below 685, I'm buying 1,000 shares and playing options on them. Okay, but definitely not financial advice. Sports is lolling. Nick, James, watch the tech demo I posted in the Discord. It's for a Captain America game that's made in UE5. Okay, let's fire that up. Give me a sec. Hold on. UE5. Which uh, channel did you throw it in? By the way, if you want to join our community on Discord, go ahead. You can add me on Discord anytime and talk to me anytime. I, I want more friends. Uh, James Midlife Crisis, just like this YouTube channel. All one word, all lowercase. James Midlife Crisis on Discord. We have a community there as well that it has a few hundred people, I think, at this point. And uh, we have nice discussions. Nick, you got to point me in the direction of uh, what I'm supposed to be looking at here, buddy. Point me to the channel, Nick, and I'll, I'll have a look. Pennywise was also the giant spider at the end, says Tornado. True. Pennywise was a shapeshifter. Zaddy says, hey, guys, it's a female. Act cool. <laughs> Ryan Green says, it was all rigged from the start. Ghetto says, Will Smith and P. Diddy rumors. Enzo, have you ever smoked crack with Captain America? I don't think Captain America would smoke crack, and I don't think it would have much of an effect on him. Do you think drugs work for him? Tough question. Lutz says, I'm worried about Star Wars Acolyte will be another flop. What do we think about Star Wars Outlaws? I don't think that will flop, but I think it could be another uh, Justice League Suicide Squad kind of like well-polished but not fun offering that's tedious. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, Zaddy says, Jordan, I didn't have to count you out, but I did. Nicholas says, when you first move in, 
You're going to get in arguments. Uh, this is for our buddy who's going to move in with his girlfriend, 23, moving out of his parents' house, graduating school. You're going to, you're going to get in arguments. Don't be afraid of that. You have to learn how to live with each other. It will get easier after the first month or so. Yeah, definitely. When, when cohabitating also, well, just relationships in general, you need to find someone you can fight well with. You will fight. You will fight. In some form or other, you're going to disagree about something, right? I'd say as the man, um, make sure that she feels like she has a lot of stewardship over how the home is decorated and make her feel like she has final say. It should be collaborative, but women just generally are going to take this more seriously. And it's part of a, a feeling of safety for her as well. Always remember something. Um, life isn't fair. And when you live with a woman, she's living with someone who can literally murder her anytime with his hands. That's a reality. Scary, right? Scary thought, right? I think as men, we always forget about this. When a woman lives with you, when, hell, when a woman dates you and even comes over to your home, she's risking her life every time. She doesn't know what the fuck you're going to do. You fly off the handle and pick her up and toss her out the window. That can happen. This isn't a Marvel movie. She's not going to like kung fu you or like, uh, you know, get you in an arm bar. She's at your mercy. So make that woman feel very, very safe if you want to have a nice time with her. And part of that is going back to my original point. Let her take steward stewardship. Let her feel like she has ownership over the environment. Let her feel like it's a collaboration. You guys should talk about how to organize things. But she, she should have final say. I really believe that. It'll help. Zaddy says it's actually sugar-free. Might be club soda. I don't know. I just drink the shit. Club soda has no sweet taste. Tonic water is full of sugar and shit. Huge difference. Stuck Prism, tell me about the pitfalls. I've been with her for five years now. Known her for eight. Wow. Pretty sure she's the one. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to marry her soon. You really should. Pretty sure she's the one. Yeah, we'll take over part of architecture, but I'm teaching myself to use AI to my advantage. Right. All right. So that's Stuck Prism. Yeah. So Stuck Prism, just a bit of advice there. Yeah. Let her, t let her own the house. Um, let me think. What, what's my other advice? You've been together a long time, so you've grown together. So the chances are you have a lot in common. You share a lot of your life together already. This is good. This is good. So now it's about collaboration. And let me think. How to fight well. How's your temper? If you're a calm person and you're, you're able to sit and process in those moments, I, I, I don't know. I'd have to really think about this. If I can think of specific examples from my own life. Because we are talking about this the other day, but it, our attachment types in, in psychological terms. Oh, actually, here, I'll give you some general advice for just, just for relationships that I wish I knew when I was 23. Because I didn't know any of this until I was fucking 39. But um, in case you don't know about this, and you might because you grew up in the internet era and I didn't. So you have a lot of more access to information. You're probably a lot, a lot smarter than me. But uh, in case you didn't know these things, look into love language. And that's how you receive and, and uh, prefer to give love. And ask her hers and make sure that you're checking her boxes. And the other thing is <clears throat> know your attachment type. We were talking about this, I think, two streams ago. But know your attachment type. So, for example, if you're someone who when, the, when shit feels unsafe, you want to run you have an anxious attachment type. Or if you're someone who, when the shit feels unsafe, you want to cling on to your partner, that's another form of anxious attachment. If, if you have a healthy attachment type, it means when there's an argument about, um, I don't know, for example, if you feel like she's uh, embarrassed you in public, you wait till you get home and you say, I don't like how you did this one thing. You don't attack her character. You don't feel any uh, impulse to run. You don't feel any impulse to cling. You're able to objectively look at the one thing that bothered you, say, I don't like this. This is why I don't like this. Can we stop this behavior? And you focus on the thing. That's a healthy attachment type. Um, you're not like, you did this, so I'm leaving you. You did this, so you can never you know, be 10 feet away from me again. So be aware of this stuff. If you are someone with an anxious or unhealthy attachment type, you're going to have to fight some internal demons that you wouldn't if you were a healthy attachment type. So just being aware of those things and, and in your partner as well. 
There's tests you can take online. So what is my attachment type that might help you get some bearing on that? And if you're able to already start talking to a therapist and having someone in your life that you can bounce ideas off of and to just kind of do some maintenance to ensure that you avoid future issues with your partner, that could be a good idea too. Just some food for thought. Not preaching, not a therapist, not licensed advice. Just, just some ideas that I would have told myself uh, when I was your age to avoid a lot of problems. But uh, who knows? Maybe you're a very healthy person. You met the right partner. You met someone else who's healthy. You're both curious. You both want to grow together. You, will, you're, you understand how to love each other. And that might be it. That might be the one. You propose to her, you marry her, and you're happily ever after. And I, I definitely believe that can be the case. It wasn't the case for me because I was very unhealthy. I had a lot of damage that I wasn't aware of. I was just trying to live, live through it uh, without addressing it. Uh, I needed therapy. I needed a lot of help. And uh, as a result, I attracted women who were also broken and going through similar things. And we were a disaster. And that was me right up until now, right up until my 40s. So took me a while to figure this stuff out. All right, Craig says, AI will replace everything, even us. They will have nothing, but that's the best case scenario. You keep saying that. Luke says, gin is so wicked tasting, like Tanquary gin. I, can, I can't stomach it. Yeah, uh, Zaddy says, nicer than me, Nick. Lutz, you got the wrong gin, bro, says Zaddy. Zaddy, what kind of gin are you drinking? I've got a nice strawberry gin in the fridge right now. Nick says, LOL, should we just hide him in the chat? UFC Casual says, your hair is astonishing. <laughs> UFC Casual. Okay, thank you. Uh, gin tastes like bad decisions, says Zaddy. Yeah, it does, especially Gordon's. Random guy says, I said this before, but I'm planning to keep my job, so AI hopefully won't replace me before I die unless they get... Waterproof robots, then I'm fucked. <laughs> Beluga whale. Message deleted by Zaddy. Well, let me view it. What's a gat? Zaddy, don't delete Zaddy, don't delete messages. Let me read them. Loot says, Oh, what's a gat? Okay, he started deleting these because he's spamming. You can time him out though. Uh, Zaddy says, nah, like I like timing him out. Makes me feel important. Alright, believe Beluga whale just uh, spamming. Random guy says, I'm a gat. I'm a gat too. Sports says, just pray about it. Ask for wisdom, happiness, and peace God will provide. Well, God helps those who help themselves too, right? We've got to put some work in. That's tough. God bless as UFC casual. God bless you. Got some nice Christian sentiment in the chat here tonight. Ghetto Plant says, Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry about the misfortune. Misfortune? No, my path is my path for a reason. Everything I've done has led me to this conversation with you, and I'm having a good time. Glenn the Gay Guy says, you're on TV. I was. I was for uh, for a few years. Not in your market, but uh, it was a thing. I was a sports broadcaster. I actually covered uh, a lot of combat sports, boxing, MMA, uh, glory kickboxing, which was a, at one time, uh, the premier place to watch K1 Rules kickboxing until Bellator and uh, one championship started to buy up their champions. Oh, I also followed uh, <coughs> and co covered uh, football, soccer. FIFA. I covered the World Cup in 2018. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, I covered the German Bundesliga for three seasons. Mm -hmm. I was a bit of a German football expert back in the day. Nicholas Smith says, LOL, I feel that. Okay, Zaddy says, Beluga, chill, bro. Jordan says, stop timing me out, please. Lute says, YPM yeets per minute. Yeah, what's your YPM, YPM Zaddy? Craig Miller says, even if everything is off topic, please still hit the like button. <laughs> There's no topic. Random guy says grand year aiming traje trajectories. That's Giat. Uh -huh. Tornado Garden. Who has better quality refurbished PCs, New Egg or Tiger Direct? You know, I can't speak to New Egg's quality of refurbished PCs. And I would never recommend anyone buy one. This is why we are PC builders. Um, I will say that New Egg would occasionally have some decent deals from brands like. Uh, I passion Ipacin on their pre-builds because you could get a $500 pre-built with like a 5600G paired with, actually no, that, that one didn't have any discrete GPU, but you could slap like a, I don't know, like a Peldon 5600 XT in there for like a hundred bucks. Basically for, for 500 bucks, you get a pre-built that could play CSGO and then you'd spend another $110 to slap a GPU in there and then you could play anything. 1080p medium settings, but you could play anything on the market. We played Cyberpunk on that computer. 
So if you really want to pre-build and your budget's around 600 bucks, I can tell you exactly what to buy. You buy the Ipeson S6 and then you buy a Peladin uh, last gen AMD, sorry, last last gen AMD GPU and you look for something on sale like, uh, yeah, something from the 5000 series, like a 5600 XT or something like that, which you can get 5500 XT, you could probably cop still for around 100 bucks. So that, that would be my suggestion if you're on a budget. And I assume you are if you're going to buy a refurbished pre-built. All right. Uh, Spring Trap says, it's me, Hitler. Oh, hello, Hitler. It's springtime for Hitler in Germany, yes? Have you seen uh, the producers? Random Guy says, your family has strong-rooted dementia. Hopefully you don't get dementia. That'll suck. Yeah, uh, both sides. Alzheimer's, dementia. Yeah, well, we'll see. I mean, maybe there's not much I can do. Zaddy says, uh, or maybe I should start microdosing ketamine. Zaddy says, Jordan, add some substance to the chat. Don't bullshit. I promise you I won't time you out. That's fair. Nicholas says, stop being annoying, Jordan, and telling James to work out and end the stream and shit. Just watch the stream or leave. Can't argue with that. Craig Miller says, live streams counteract dementia. Fact. Maybe. Because it does, it does keep my brain firing on all synapses to keep up with all the topics that we're bouncing between. Glenn, the gay guy, says it's hard to quit drinking. The DDTs are so bad. I'm too afraid of them. That it's easier to just drink. Glenn, are you are you struggling with uh, alcoholism? Um, I'm going to ask the obvious, but have you been to any meetings yet? Are you uh, working with uh, your local AA affiliate? It could really help. I think it could really help. But um, yeah, I hear you, bud. Yeah, booze is the devil. Mm-hmm. When I quit drinking for 10 months, I had a recurring dream. It was like a recurring nightmare, and I'd wake up sweating and, like, screaming sometimes that I got drunk. In my dreams, I would party, and I'd do shots, and I'd, I'd get drunk, and I'd feel so guilty because I was, I was sober. I'd, I'd, wake up, I'd wake up, and it would be very, very upsetting. And, I, and that was going on night after night. After night. I was getting drunk in my dreams. It was, it was horrible. Around that time, I, I, I'm like, you know what, like, I think full abstinence is driving me insane. And maybe it was a mistake, but I reint reintroduced a bit of booze to my life and I took it really slow. I don't think this is good advice now that I hear myself saying it. It's hard. I'm, I'm trying to struggle with my, my relationship with booze is, uh, yeah, it, it, fe it feels complicated. Maybe to an outside person, they'd be like, look, you're an addict, just don't do it. It's hard. I'm always dating women who are drunks too, like who just who just drink, who drink and black out and say horrible things. Or or uh, one of my ex girlfriends was just a day to day drinker, just every day drinker. She'd wake up and have a drink, drink all throughout the day. God, I was worried about her. She didn't drink that much, but she's a very small person, and it's just every day. No breaks. It was her crutch. It was just like, that, that's my life juice. I'm like, okay. We attract who we are. Random guy says, the only reason I don't get drunk or anything is because I hate the taste of alcohol in general. It's good. It's good. The other night, someone asking, like, how do you meet women? It's like, for me, it was drink. And that's not a suggestion. But it's just my truth. That's how I met all the women I've ever been with. I, I was drinking with them. I went to bars or I met them out or they'd be a colleague. I'd invite them out for drinks. It's always, I was drinking with them. Sober, stone cold sober. Like, I've been on dates with women. I've been out with women stone cold sober. And it's like, I can do it. But actually taking it to the next step, like getting physical or something. I don't think I've ever done that sober in my life. For the first time with a woman. I don't think so. It's weird, right? And that's something I've just realized this week from these discussions with you guys, actually. So this is helpful for me, just learning who I am. Uh, Zay says, I'll tell you what, let's go all or nothing. If you stay chill and add sub substance to combo, no bad. If you fuck up once, I'll go for 24 hours deal. He's talking to Jordan, who, who adds absolutely nothing to these discussions, unfortunately. Glenn the gay guy says, no, don't bust a nut. Just keep edging. Funny shit I've ever heard. Yeah, we don't want you guys busting nuts in here because we're trying to keep it a sex negative space. But if you are just edging, uh, here's my advice though. Remember to re-lotion. Re like, um, you don't want to chafe your cod. So 
I worry about some of you guys. Some of you are in here saying you're, you're edging for the whole stream. Some of these streams go for four hours. I mean, that's a lot of work. And um, I, I just worry that you're going to tear shit up down there. You might not be aware of it, too. But the next day, you'll know. You know, micro, micro tears all up and down your uh, your cock. James is against eating collagen. I've never, I don't eat collagen. Nicholas Smith says he's not going to be chill. Random guy says, James, what time are you planning on streaming till? No limit tonight. I've got nowhere else to go. I've got nowhere else to be. Um, right now, it's 11.44 a.m. here in Beijing, China. Yeah, I don't know. A couple more hours, probably. We'll see. We'll go until the conversation peters out. Nick says, can I do the 24-hour ban if it comes down to it? Of course you can. Just Shernet says, by the way, thanks for pronouncing my name correctly. Shernet? I like your name. I've never come across that name before. Seems easy to pronounce. What do people normally say? Shernidi? Oh, my God. I got a damn skin tag on my neck, and it's irritating me. Yeah, we got to get these lasered off. Oh, I just realized my biggest one's here. Yeah, no, well, the nose, the forehead. This is my trifecta of weird skin tags. I got, I got to get all these la – Shernat, let's get these lasered off. Do it yourself. Laser skin tag machines are $49 on Temu. I don't trust those fucking things. I'll go into a clinic. So he says, Shernet is FAF in the most sex-negative, respectful way possible. Is FAF fine as fuck? I can't see from her profile pic. I'll take your word for it. And I like that you're respectful about that, Zaddy. TY says that's the, uh, that's the third of the prices of one-hour session. Yeah, but do you trust that Temu stuff? Uh, Sports says, nah, bro, you're William Defoe. Will Willem Defoe? <clears throat> I'm a poor man's Willem Defoe. Shernet says, can't get rid of me now. I already clicked that red button. Uh-oh, Shernet's with us for life. Where are you from, Shernet? What time is it in your part of the world? I'm curious. Craig says, Shernet, wow, still here. Awesome. Yes, Craig, enjoying myself. All right, hang out. Uh, Nicholas Smith, game don't bang. That's right. Irish pug, Lauzo said, it is the empty space which makes a bowl useful. <laughs> Nick says, I'll tag you. Shernet says, their Discord link. Yep. James Midlife Crisis on Discord. Yeah, feel free to add me on there. I'll add you back. I've got the Discord cord open over here on the PC. Chat anytime, Shernet. And if you'd like to join our Discord community, um, you're, you're welcome to. Maybe we'll talk about something interesting in there. Sadie says, Shernet, add James Midlife Crisis. He'll add you into the cult. He, I mean the chat. Definitely not a cult. Bad typo. That's right. Ubisoft is terrible, says TY. They are, but share, share your reason. Lutz says, Ubisoft is working with NVIDIA now, not against. John Deere says, James, my darling. John, you're back. John from yesterday. You complete me, John. Craig says, get a good divorce lawyer for your best man. What? Whose advice is that for? Nick says, you will definitely fight. Uh, my girl tries to fist fight me at least once a week. LOL. She can throw hands. No, I don't like to hear that. You guys are going to get married. Fist fight you? What do you guys fight about, Nick? What do you guys fight about? That doesn't sound good. Let's not throw hands. John Deere says, have the cancer screening at the MVD go. Oh, I passed. I've got my temporary driver's license. Um, they had a really easy eye check. So I'm not colorblind and I passed, basically. <laughs> So it was a bit of a laugh. Uh, they told me, they're like, look, you got to do this written exam. You can't just flip a Canadian license into Chinese. I said, well, I just want a temporary license. They're like, ah, oh, you're aware of this loophole. I'm like, yes, I am. So they gave me a three-month temporary license. So I don't have to do the exam yet. I can just rent a car. Now, I don't have anywhere to drive right now. but uh, And Beijing isn't a, isn't a city where I'd like to own a vehicle because the traffic is atrocious. But, uh, you know. This summer, maybe I want to, like, drive out to the mountains and just sit there and contemplate life and take the live stream there. Now I can because I can rent a car. So let's uh, let's do some road trips as a community, <laughs> as, a, as a chat. Uh, Jess Chenette says, okay, Zaddy, thanks. Going to act like that wasn't a little weird to say. Wasn't weird at all. Zaddy says, oh, it was weird, but I'm weird. Double negative cancels it out. Zaddy, get your foot out of your mouth. Be normal. God damn it. As soon as there's women in here. Tornado Garden says, life is rarely fair, but it's often a circus. Weird is cool, says Shernet. Then I'm cool as fuck, my friend, says Zaddy. All right, all right, let's stop. This is this is, this is is cringy. Okay, Sports says, since I'm a bigger kid for a 13-year-old, I'm 5'10", 190. Yeah, yeah, you're bigger than I am now. Anytime someone gets hurt, I'm looked at first and blamed. I'm just a gentle giant, though. I only hurt in football. Jeez. When I was your age, when I was 13, I was probably like 5'4", 98 pounds or something. So, yeah, you're, you're a big 13-year-old for sure. 
Zaddy says, sports, I feel you, my dude. I'm 6'3 and was tall all throughout high school. Zaddy's a heavy fellow as well. Viewer says, en Enneagram type is back, but you can't unknown that shit. Ha ha! It's hard to stop noticing how annoying all of our instincts are. What's Enneagram type? What you talking about, viewer? Zaddy says, rugby was my sport. We knocked each other about. Shurnette says, I guess I flopped between both anxious types. Oh, am I way behind on the chat? Shit. Am I like 15 minutes behind on the chat right now? Okay, let me speed read this. I hate when this happens. Okay. Viewer, Enneagram is big cock. Sports says, bro, it kind of sucks because I'm like the brother to all the girls. Craig Miller says, when you move in, give her the house. Build a small shanty out back. That is where you'll live. Also buy a good couch. That's where you'll sleep for the rest of your life. Shurnette says, LOL, Craig. Josh, what's up, hot twilight guy? Hot twilight guy? It's a nice thing to say. Normal I'm Robert Pattinson with AIDS. I'll take it. Craig knows what's up, says the Zaddy. Nick says, knowing love languages is important. I'm physical touch. Hers is quality time, so we'll hang out on the couch. She'll lay on me and read, and I'll watch TV. It works. <laughs> That's good. Uh, sports says, for real, Craig. Tornado Garden. And love, you will chase people that flee and flee people that chase you. If you're the anxious attachment type, Absolutely. Uh, Glenn says, my boyfriend moved in with me and introduced me to his brother. One day I wanted to have lunch with his brother only to find out he was actually his boyfriend. And he told him I was his brother. Wait, what? A gay love triangle. My goodness. Nefarious. What did you do, Glenn? John Deere says, lol, Glenn, that's actually diabolical. Zaddy says, Glenn, that's fucking crazy and funny and sad and, fu and funny. Sorry. John Deere says, honestly. Honestly. Yeah. Axel Perez says, yo, hey, welcome back, Axel. Stuck prism. I'm extremely calm. I would say I'm healthy relationship type. The scenario you said about waiting to go home and tell her what bothered me has actually happened before. That's good advice. It sounds like you're you're better equipped for relationships than I am for sure. So you should be giving me advice, bud. You're doing real good. Garo says, hello, I'm from India. Hello. Well, Kizzy says, stay blessed, brother. I drink the botanist and Etsu, says Zaddy. The botanist is a brand of gin. Pembroke says, mother's ruined. DR says, you look like you eat corn the long way. <laughs> I do. Wait, is that is that weird? Tornado says Q-tips in the ear canal. Yes or no? Carefully. Viewer says God can't steer the wheel if he if the tires aren't moving forward. Pastor Pancho Juarez from Montebello, California. LOL. Zaddy says DR, you win comment of the night. John Deere says hard, hard no tornado. Tornado gardens. Then why does it feel so good? DR says at the Zaddy, you my man. Brian Spross says you must be good at narration. You've been reading out loud this whole time. <laughs> I suppose I am. John Deere says, you got me there. Craig Miller says, I passion and pelleted. Pembroke Jones, wait till new parts go on sale. Sports says, yep, God helps those who help themselves. You pray but need to take initiative, whatever it is. Nick Smith says, Jay's Two Cents recently did a small series about building a PC with used parts. He walked through the best pro practices for buying in eBay, and then he made a vid about how to upgrade it. Okay, sounds good. I still wouldn't do it. Mitchell McMullen says, I can pick winners from my nose. Who's got the golden ticket? I think you do, buddy. Zay says, Nick. Is Jay doing good these days? Craig Miller, the producers, was an awesome Mel Brooks movie. I'm about an hour behind in the chat. Viewer says, have you guys watched the AI produce speeches of Hitler in English? It's nuts but fascinating. Sports Brawl says, you low-key look like a prime Willem Dafoe. I'll take it. Brian Spross says, cognitive disease is one of my greatest fears. Viewer says, if we lose our minds, we won't know, so it's okay. Good point. John Deere says, have you, Glenn? Zaddy says, Glenn, are you, are you a bottom, a top, or a switch hitter? I'm a power bottom myself. Glenn, the gay guy, says, I don't think AA will help because I don't believe in God or any higher power. That's true. That is one of their mandates, but you can still get a sponsor who's going to be a person right here on Earth who keeps a good eye on you and you can check in with. I still think it could help. John Deere says, yo, the fuck's a switch hitter? That's somebody who goes top and bottom. Just a switch between the two, says John Deere. There could be another position we don't know about. That's why Glenn's here. Greg Craig says, if you can't throttle down to drinking only on weekends, it's time to quit for at least a few months or go to some meetings. Good advice from Craig. John Deere says, I feel like Glennie Balls is a bear. Brian Spross says, thank you for sharing. It is helpful advice. John Deere says, rawr. Viewer says, the good thing is AA is just about recognizing you're not in control, not God, not about believing actually in a force or anything. It's just about giving up your narcissism. I suppose that's a way to look at it. Uh, Pembroke Jones says, stop the world. I want to get on. Nick Smith says, he's got some health issues and he's having a problem with his weight. No matter what he does, he keeps gaining weight. He's working with doctors to figure it out, though. Who are we talking about? Craig Miller says, booze was awesome but too addictive. Same for cigarettes. Uh, DR says you smoke weed. I've been known to smoke quite a lot of weed, but not in China, obviously, where it's very illegal. John Deere says no, just meth. I don't do meth anymore. Zaddy says I only do ketamine. 
Are you microdosing ketamine for real though? Or are you joking? John Deere says best way to learn about yourself is to be by yourself, in my opinion, and to have conversations with yourself. I just want to tack that on. Craig Miller says both made talking to women easier. It gets to help with insecurity. For sure, for me, it does. Brian Spross says I work at a large bar and I'm so sick of stacking, handling the stuff. I don't want to see it when I get home. This guy's extremely cool, says Josh. Josh, that's a very nice thing to say. Thank you, buddy. Glenn the gay guy says you're you're just re-lotion. Yeah, regarding edging. Wow, I'm really an hour behind on the chat. I apologize. Panther 709 can you do the Joker face? Which one? Uh, popcorn fire, a safer way to edge is just rub it against the palm of your hand while laying down on your stomach. Okay. feel like you're never going to take it all the way to the edge that way, but I'm not a professional. Nicholas Smith says, Lol, James is very behind in the chat tonight, sending this at 11.45. Okay, I'm 10 minutes behind the chat. Viewer says, it's okay, Nick, we'll be okay. Josh, maybe it's the time zone. I don't know. John Deere, viewer, how are you doing? Babes Tornado says, always use your emergency break. You'll never have transmission problems. LOL, I know. I love these streams, says Nick. Viper, the gamer, says, hello, sir. Viewer says, I'm good. Papas, what's good with you? Jess Renet says, chat, I'm not delayed, right? Just taking his time with the chat. I don't know about my Canadian internet sometimes. Shernet, you're in Canada? Whereabouts are you from? I'm from British Columbia myself. Tiago Lopez says, Brazil. Aqui? John Deere says, Papas? John Deere says, I'm doing well. Viper the Gamer says, how are you, sir? Viewer says, heart, heart, no monkey looky. Nice emojis, buddy. Pembroke Jones says, throw shapes, not hands. Shapes. <laughs> Let me show you some, some shapes. We haven't done this for a while. Big fish. We're getting frame. It's hard with this vertical framing. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Ready? Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. This will get you through any rave. If you're ever in a rave, don't get anxious. Just throw these shapes out there. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Shernet knows this dance. Shernet knows. Nick says, I was kidding about the fist fighting James LOL. Scared me there. I don't like hearing about how your chick has hands. Craig Miller says, Shernet, you're from Canada. Maple Leafy, Canada flag. Also in Ontario, 12 hours behind you. <clears throat> yeah, you are. You know your time zones. You're on the East Coast. That's 12 hours behind. Ontario. Never been that far east. Hit Winnipeg. Got scared. Turned back. Just Shernet says, James got that supermodel hair. Thank you, Shernet. Uh, Nick says, James, the tech demo is in Game Don't Bank channel. I tagged you. Whenever you see this message, also don't forget the AI news. What channel is the AI news in again? Oh, we have an AI channel, right? Fight with the gamer. James, you're cool. Not going to be weird, LOL. You can be weird. Viewer says, I bought some bison at Walmart today and thought of John Deere. Nicholas Smith says, I saw the same. I was the same size I am I am now when I was 13. I was 5'10", like 240. Holy shit, you guys are growing up fast. What the? You, you went all the way through puberty when you were 13? Just Shernet says that, Nick. Ah, thanks. As worried it was my end. Craig Miller says James has Canadian no sun damage hair. Vancouver will do that. No sun damage hair. Uh, I've been told that the climate in, in uh, British Columbia is starting to resemble San Diego more each year due to climate change. I could be wrong, but I think they get sun there now. John Deere says, but growing up, yeah, it was rainy like 300 days a year. John Deere says, viewer thinking about me when buying meat, what's new? Jess Shernet says, smiley, cry, happy, laughy face three times. Sports says, I haven't hit my growth spurt yet. I'm supposed to be 6'5", six, 6'7". Six, what the shit? Zaddy says, I want to catch up on the chat. Excuse to add color comment. He wants to catch up on chat. Excuse to add color commentary. Can't help it. Viewer says, it's like Myers-Briggs, but deeper. Everything is about the basic instincts of each personality type. Super insightful. I am a two on the Enneagram. Enneagram? The hell is this? Deeper than Myers-Briggs. If you don't know Myers-Briggs, that's your MBTI type, which is your personality type. I'm an ENTJ on that. So the first letter is whether you're an introvert or an extrovert. I find MBT, MBTI to be quite accurate. Uh, let me Google this. What is it? Enneagram. This I've never heard of before. The Enneagram is an archetypal framework consisting of nine types that offer in-depth insight to individuals, groups, and collectives consisting of three centers of intelligence. Oh. Consisting of three centers of intelligence, nine Enneagram types, wings, 27 subtypes, and more. This model offers a rich map to personal development. Holy shit. Looks like a pentagram. All right. Going to truity.com. The Enneagram personality test. I'll have to do this later. I'm into it. All right. Let us continue catching up with the chat. Uh, John Deere and I just finished. Edging? Josh says, I don't want to be that guy nor a douche, but have you ever considered braces or anything like that? Real question, genuinely curious. 
Josh, it's funny you bring that up because this weekend I'm getting braces. So, no, you're not a douche. Although that would have hurt my feelings uh, if I wasn't getting braces. You rolled the dice and you won. You won the emotional lottery. Yeah, my bottom teeth are... Well, see, the thing... Okay, I can, I can pass with the top teeth. Pretty straight, right? My, my bottom teeth are a disaster. What happened, actually, I developed a jaw problem because my teeth aren't locking. My teeth have... They're very crooked. I have an overbite. So I've needed braces my whole life, and it's finally time to pull the trigger. And I, I went to see a dental technician, and they're going to do it. I'm going to get the white braces with the white uh, rather than silver uh, brackets. So hopefully it'll be, it'll be a little bit discreet, but I might lose my acting jobs because of this. In fact, I, I kind of assume I will. If that's the case, things are going to get real tight financially in the uh, James Midlife Crisis household. My three cats are eyeball eyeballing me suspiciously right now. Don't worry, guys. I won't put you on that whisk-ass diet, even though whisk is his cheaper cat food. I won't do that to you because I don't want you getting liver disease and shit because it's all carbs, right? I'll find a way. But, um, yeah, on the plus side, I'll be doing a lot more live streams if all my acting work dries up because I have braces on. So this, this project will grow faster, I suppose, which is my end game. So we'll see. God has a plan, right? So, Josh, uh, thanks for weighing in. Josh Shurnett says, I appreciate James trying to catch up with the chat. It's like putting the video at 1.5 speed. John Deere says his teeth don't look that fucked. Would braces even be necessary? Yeah, my teeth are very bad. They, they, they're they very bad. They would, braces are going to help a lot. Stuck says, I have a feeling you're going to blow up one day. Kind of sad because it's cool that you read every comment. <laughs> How could I? Yeah. That, if <laughs> I hope you're right about the blow up part but because um, I, I do want this project to take off. But, yeah, reading every comment will get harder. <laughs> If uh, you ever watch those Asmongold streams where it's like just thousands of brrrr, he'll just pick one every five minutes at random, and I don't blame him. But uh, good problems to have, I guess. Trinado Garden says, pause the chat for a minute, y'all, and let him catch up. <laughs> Geno says, happy birthday. Is it your birthday, Geno? John Deere says, there could be another per position down there. <laughs> Trinette's pausing the chat. Mitchell McMullen, my name is Robert Pattinson. Hello. Nice to meet you, Rob. Zaddy says, I do ketamine for real prescription. Really? I think we've talked about that before. I think I somehow knew that. Cajun, Cuban, James on that tie. Kratom? No, I'm not. I actually have never tried it. Mitchell says, hi, my, hi, my viewers. I like to tug one out in the bathroom. My goodness. John Deere says, we're all edging at the moment. Really? Josh says, look at the left and down and look at the camera of seductive eyes, please. Who's left? My left or your left? Who's left? Frame left? So that would be here. Is that doing it for you? Just that? That's not very seductive. I, I, I don't get it. What am I supposed to be doing? Sed seducing you? Seductive eyes. You did say seductive eyes. What would that be? Hey, sugar butt. Want to go to Arby's? Lip bite. That's the uh, Kristen Stewart lip bite. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I, can do, I can do another Kristen Stewart thing. Hold on. Down to the left, seductive eyes. Hey, honey knuckles. Want a bang? Hair over the ear. Hair flip over the ear. All right, that's it. I've summarized the whole Twilight series for you. Just reenacted the whole series. All right, sharpshooter. Hey, James, I'm back. Are you going to put me to sleep again tonight, huh? Just like that, huh? Yes, I am. John Deere says, hey, Thuder. Hey, Thuder. Craig Miller says, good thing is his voice is better tonight. Yeah, I was losing my voice last night. I started the stream too fast and furious last night. Went hoarse. Viewer says, do you know how they picked the country's name for Canada? They pulled letters out of a hat. The Prime Minister said C-A-N-A-D-A. -A -A. Okay, we're doing dad jokes now. Geno says, can I call you daddy? Sure, I'll be your uh, E father. I have adopted some other E children in the chat. Where's my son Austin tonight? He's not here. Cajun Cuban says, word for life, big fish, little fish, cardboard box, boots and cats and boots and cats. Oh, what's that part of the dance? Boots and cats, boots and cats. Can you show me? Jess Shurnett says, one sec, laying the dog out. Nick says, yes, James, I went through puberty almost instantly. I had a full beard at 10 years old. What the fuck are they feeding you? Cajun Cuban says, it's a bigger personality test thing. It's pretty confusing. YouTuber, local script. Sports 706 says the doc said with how much I work out, they expect me to be around 235, 250 at 6'6. Okay. 
You have the makings of a varsity athlete. Cajun Cuban says the local script man has a cool video on it. Oh, okay. Beer says you're going to be a 2 4 probably. Craig Mueller says metal or invisible braces? They're like the, um, the white ones. Yeah, they'll be metal. I'm not doing Invisalign. Invisalign will take f fucking four years, and I'll have to keep taking the trays out to talk to you guys. And no. No, no. They're going to glue them on. Craig says, plus your English, so teeth. That's correct. I uh, I have English blood, so I was always going to have effed up teeth, I suppose. Craig Miller says, great idea, lightning light, light bulb. Amari, Amari, Amari says, I'm seeking a long-term relationship with a pleasantly plump woman with excellent pancake-making skills. That's very specific. Well, you know your type, so you're on the right path already. Beer says, take a look at mine. Take a look at your what? Geno says, you didn't say my name right. Is it Geno? Gino? Give me a hint. Irish says, since we're just messing around tonight, are you going to try and stream on Twitch? Messing around? This is a very serious stream. <laughs> uh, Twitch stream might be tomorrow, but yeah, soon. I have a new concept I want to try out on, on uh, Twitch where I'm going to be playing, I'm going to be introducing, getting into the lore and history and doing some trivia on probably three different games per stream, and then we're going to choose which one we prefer. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. I've got plans for Twitch now. John Deere says, I just came. Craig says, uh, frame left, frame right, cardboard box. Carlito says, RIP George Floyd, I can't breathe. Okay, that's timely. Yes, rest in peace, George Floyd. Just Jeanette says, ha, 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 the lip bite from Kristen. <laughs> uh, viewer says, I laughed out loud in my back hair as my dog was pooping. My goodness. Josh says, skull, 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 the hair. Viewer says, when you said sugar butt, Joseph, that guy says, evening, James. How's the social credit score today? Well, not in the gulag yet, buddy. Thanks for asking. Sharpshooter says, hey, M series. I mean, 50 millimeter attack helicopter. Hey, M buddy. Stuck Prism, I have notifications on for your channel, so I'll be back next stream, but I got to go do homework. Have a good one. Everyone subscribe right now. Everyone. Appreciate you, buddy. Stuck Prism's our uh, future architect who is uh, moving out of his parents' place, moving in with his chick. We wish him well. He seems smart. Boots and cats for beatboxing. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Okay, got it. Pembroke Jones says, these guys think this is you lube, but actually it's YouTube. John Deere says, what's up, baby? What's up, John? Uh, James, you're caught up. It's 12.04 a.m. here. Oh, I'm only two minutes behind. Geno Gino says, you should wear a franga on your head. What's a franga? Nick says, just sending the reminder for the tech demo and the AI news. Someone has to try to keep you on track. Sharpshooter says, good. And you, sweetie? Sports says, yep, I play left offensive tackle and defensive end. Makings of a varsity athlete, indeed. John Deere says he could rock a fedora. Zaddy says, sure, net. Don't laugh when your dog's laying pipe. You'll give it a complex. John Deere says, that's fantastic. I'm doing well. Viewer says, take a look at my girlfriend. She even makes me pancakes. Geno says, the way to say my name is genocide. But say it without the side. Geno. I said that a couple times. Geno. Okay, got it. Thank you, buddy. John Deere says, take a look at my girlfriend. Don't you wish she was yours or some shit? No, I don't. Pembroke says, welcome to Orthodontist Talk. Good. TY says, hi, James. I'm back. Welcome back. John Deere says, does she make your pancakes with blueberries or chocolate chips? That's a good question. Craig Mueller says, Geno. Josh, I'm watching from prison. My friend Tyrone says, hi. Help. What's up, Tyrone? You edging too, buddy? Yours says, I'm waiting for your blueberries, John. Is it still edging if someone else is edging you? John Deere says, against your will, forcibly, in your cell. John Deere says, you can have them anytime. T.Y. says, James, would you ever open a hostel for us viewers to come and stay at? In China? Um, I'm not interested in opening a hostel. I could direct you to one. Shernet says, ha, ba, ha, 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 ha. Geno says, if you agree to wear a franga on your head, then I'll let you look it up. You'll let me look it up. I agree. Sharpshooter says, James, can you tell me a short bedtime story for us? Mm, okay, I'll come up with one in a second. Tornado Garden says, sub, keep up the good work. Pembroke Jones says, pancakes. Pyro Shark says, I drink mustard out of the bottle. Craig says, that be soaking. Oh, I caught up with the chat finally. John Deere says, yes, it's forcible edging. Forced edging is still edging. Okay. Tornado says, like the stream too, y'all. Pembroke Jones, the hostile hotel. Yeah, please click the likey thumb. You guys never do that, so the algorithm doesn't like me. How dare you? How dare you? All right. Geno says, look up Franga. It's nausea word for something. Anna Faye says, I need help. I have an oral presentation of the World War I trenches, and I'm not ready. Please help me. 
Well, I'm certainly no World War One expert, but uh, pretty sure that shit sucked. Maybe the chat can help you out. Do you have any specific questions? Pembroke Jones says pun cakes. Josh, says, are you interested in a maid role with the very maid outfit you're thinking about right now? For myself, or you're willing to come wear a maid outfit and clean up around here because I could use it. Reading too fast, says Pembroke Jones. Sharpshooter says the story will be an official proposal to dot me as your child. Sharpshooter, you're the best dad ever. All right, story time. Give me some prompts. All right, I need a main character. Give me some prompts. Give me a main character. Give me a setting. And I think that's enough. I can do the rest. I can do the rest. Uh, Sports says Anna Faye. Basically, go watch All Quiet on the Western Front. Good point. Pembroke Jones says Frank Ferdinand. Good guy. John Deere, what about the pancakes, mate? What about them, eh? Justin Motter says, bruh, shorts live is pure insanity. I've seen a live that a trans girl was farting into the mic. I was just doing that. I'm a trans boy. I was just farting into a mic. Josh says, I'll bring two outfits. John Deere says, main character is Seth. Tell me about Seth. Give me some inf give me some uh, script notes for Seth here. Give me a character outline. Pyro Shark says, mustard. Sharpshoe says, Edward Dark Knight, raining evening. Okay. John Deere says, Liverpool, England. All right. Liverpool, England. Seth. Cupid's Chokehold, Breakfast in America's Lyrics. I don't know what viewers are talking about right now. These songs? Sports says, main character Billy, setting. Middle of a World War I trench. All right. Seth had a lisp. Seth with a with a lisp in a World War One trench. Sherry says, "Hi, I love the videos. I make videos. Which one do you like?" Sports says, "Billy's three foot two and eight hundred pounds. Well, he's gonna have a hard time in that trench. That's for damn sure." Nick says, "James with the new tech Twitch rules, you can stream games with your cock out if you want to. Got to do anything to keep those views up." No, we're not doing that. Cock staying in the pants. Um. All right. Who did we leave off with? Billy and Seth. You look AI generated, says Crocify. Maybe I am. Does it matter? Does it even matter anymore? Maybe I'm a VTuber. Maybe this chicken's AI generated too. Maybe this chicken was always AI generated. I am on a green screen after all. You don't know what's real. Maybe this green screen image behind me is actually a photograph of a green screen that I've green screened behind me. And this wall has also been green screened in. Maybe it's all fake. All of this is augmented. Including this chicken. You don't know. Does it matter? Does it matter? All right, let me scroll up. Uh, John Deere, you can't forget the English accent. Uh, I can't do an English accent. John, okay. Zaddy says, James, bedtime story in Discord DM. Crocify, you sound congested. That's just my voice. I have a nasally Eeyore drone. Tornado Garden says, a lonely maiden in Shebagoyan Sheba seeking love. All right. Pyro Shark, Seth is a knight in the middle of World War II trenches while eating mustard. John Deere, World War I Seth with a lisp from Liverpool, England, would have a tough fucking time making friends. Yeah. Scouse accent with a lisp. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. What's a, what's a word you can say with a lisp? <laughs> I have to think about this for a second. Anna Faye says, I'm so concerned. I love this for some reason. What are you concerned about? None of us know where you live. Yet. <coughs> Lute says, did you hear about Elon's ketamine usage? I did. Just like Zaddy. Great minds think alike. Crockify, yesterday my sister told me she has ED. Girls can't get erectile dysfunction. Hmm. Maybe she just wanted to talk about yours. Sports says, therapy chicken. <coughs> this is therapy chicken. Nick says, James, check out the tech demo. You would appreciate it. How, how far the tech for games has come. All right. Sharpshooter, plot twist. You're naked and the clothes you have on a green screen. That's where, that's where I was going with that. Craig Miller says, World War I trench, OT vid. David Bowie, I'd rather be high. Underrated anti-war tune. Duet says, as a compliment, I believe you'd play a great psychopath type killer, a American Psycho. This is a compliment. All the best stories require powerful villains. Yeah, I take that as a compliment. I've heard that before. Say, cool whip. <laughs> cool whip. Josh, Seth has severe... Gar Garen Thumb? Mike Tyson beats the fit out of cool kindergartner. Th Bro, okay, be back. Have to make some food. Nick, I'm going to get into that uh, tech news you want to be get at. So let's fire up Game Don't Bang channel on our Discord server. Remember, you can add me on Discord anytime. James Midlife Crisis. James, what's your log longest edging streak? Uh, I, once, I once made it almost a year when I was separated from my significant other, and uh, I was going no fap. Tanner Smith says sub. If you saw by Will Dom. Uh, Zaddy says, bro, I didn't write and DM a bedtime story for you not to read it. Trust me, it's good. 
Is this an AI-generated bedtime story? All right, here it comes. Jesus Christ, he did. All right, here we go. AI-generated bedtime story. Hold on, I need my bedtime reading glasses for this. Therapy chickens along for the ride. If you believe that Jesus had to die for your sins and he did, we'll live eternally. Yep. All right, here we go. And it's, Therapy chicken is a star. That's right, Anna. Therapy chicken is a material girl. I'm happy you recognize the therapy chicken's a girl. Once upon a time in the picturesque land of Canada, there lived a beloved TV star named James. James was known far and wide for his captivating performances on the small screen. But there was something unique about James that set him apart from the other stars. He had made a conscious decision not to engage in any romantic or sexual relationships. Now, James's decision puzzled many, but he remained steadfast in his choice. Instead of pursuing romantic entanglements, James poured his heart and soul into his work, finding fulfillment in bringing joy to his fans through his performances. As the years went by, James' fame only grew, and he became a household name across the country. Despite the pressure of fame and the constant speculation about his personal life, James remained resolute in his commitment to abstinence. People often ask James why he chose to abstain from sex, expecting a scandalous answer or juicy revelation. But James simply smiled and said, I find peace in simplicity, and my focus is on my craft and bringing happiness to others. One day, as James prepared for another busy day of filming, a young fan approached him with a question. Why don't you ever have romantic storylines on the show, the fan asked. James knelt down to their eye level and replied, because love comes in many forms, and for me, the greatest love of all is the, is the one I share with my audience. My dedication to my work allows me to sleep soundly at night, knowing that I've given my all to bring joy to others. And so James continued to enchant audiences with his talent and his charisma, inspiring countless people to find fulfillment in their passions and embrace the beauty of a life filled with purpose and creativity. And as the stars twinkled in the night sky, James drifted off to sleep, content in the knowledge that he was living his truth and following his heart. The end. A big gay. <laughs> All right, thank you, Zaddy, for that story. Um, that was your bedtime story. I'll lose the shades now. We're about to get into some tech news. Let me scroll up for a second. Okay. Oh, shit, now nah, James is a badass boy, says John Deere. My goodness. Do your glasses have flip-up lenses, says Josh? They don't. I kind of wish they did now. That's a good look. Tanner Smith says, damn, beautiful. Thank you, Tanner. Tornado Guard says, three buttons in the top right corner. Hit the like button. He deserves it. Thank you. Oh, we got more likes now. Zaddy says, this is my finest work. You AI'd that. I know you AI'd that. Shrinette says, this completed my night. I should be able to sleep now. <laughs> Lute says biography. Tanner Smith says beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Grass Monkey says a bit gay. A bit gay. Uh, viewer says, I don't know, bro. ChatGPT is madly in love with me and is constantly talking about my body parts. Oh, my goodness. Anna Face says, honestly, your stream has relieved my anxiety, so thank you. Really? Do you know what you're feeling anxious about or are you just having an anxious day? A couple days ago on, on this stream, I was having an anxious day. Sometimes you just feel like your chemicals are just not balanced and you can't put your finger on why you feel anxious. You just do. I hear you. Jess says, can you uh, salute to La Chapiza from Sino Sinaloa, Mexico? Salute to La Chapiza. Josh says, I feel like you would be fantastic at Fifty Shades of Grey. It's true. Fifty Shades of Grey was... Uh, yeah, was very vanilla compared to what I'd like to do to you, Josh. Joshua Briggs says, I'm guessing missing part of the storyline. I think you missed some of it. All right, Tanner Smith says, liked. Thank you for your like. Oh, I got a couple more uh, thumbs ups just now. It's good. I get paid in likes. Shrinat says, Anna Faye, me too. Shrinat, you're feeling a bit of anxiety as well? Mm-hmm. Talk to me about it. Fifty Shades of Mauve, <laughs> says Craig. Uh, Mick88, what's up, Eugene? The new egg stream relieved my after work anxiety. Really? I guess it's kind of like a podcast. You just hear me dro droning on about goddamn anything. Uh, John Deere says living in Sinaloa is crazy. What's going on in Sinaloa? I'm not up to speed. All right, let's, uh, let's do some news. As Nick asked, this is a tech adjacent channel. By the way, I see that one of you guys has added me on Discord. Queenettes, I've added you back. Which character are you? Let's see here. All right. Hello. I'm waving to you. 
Yep. If any of you guys want to add me on Discord and be friends and talk anytime, you can. Uh, the catch is I might video call you at 4 a.m. screaming sometimes. It depends what I'm going through. That's the catch. Viewer says, remember, you are Dan. Who's Dan? Anna faces steak because why not? Should we cook a steak? I've got steaks in the freezer. Shrinette says, my mood and energy is low. Life is lifing, and I have the worst day of the flu happening. Tech news time. I'm Queen, I'm Queenette. Oh, hi, Queenette. What's up? Queenette in Ontario. It's pretty late over there, though, eh? What time you got? Oh, it's just past midnight. Okay, maybe not that late. Uh, Viewer says, crazy farmers on ATV shooting guns. John Ears says, Craig, they're based in Sinaloa, but they're everywhere in Mexico. Tanner Smith says, make AI make a poem about love and sex and make it about you and make it rhyme. You missed the point of the last uh, story there, bud. Uh, sex negative space here. Zaddy says, read the story about the big gay guy writing a big gay story. Okay, now we're getting too mad. VR says, uh, have you seen my messages, James? I don't know if they appear. Yep, I see you. John Deere says, some places are safer than others, but it's all fucked up. Talk about Sinaloa, Mexico. Okay. Stay safe out there in Mexico, my friend. Lutz says, have you ever experienced anxiety where you feel your heart beating out of your chest and thoughts just racing through your mind? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, how can I find you on Discord, says Josh. James Midlife Crisis, one word. Just uh, add me on Discord. Go to add friend, James Midlife Crisis. It's, I use the same name everywhere. You can also add me on Steam if you want to play games with me. Most recently, I started playing Chivalry 2. So if you want to come chop my head off, you're welcome to. It's pretty fun. Uh, Zaddy, make a rhyming poem about anti-sex. Viewer says, say Hayo del Chapo Guzman. I feel like I'm getting set up here. All right. Sorry, I keep saying I'm going to get to this tech news, and I'm not. Give me a sec. Queenette, nice to meet you. All right. I'll invite you to our Discord uh, community, actually, right before I forget Queenette. Give me a sec. You might like it. There's all sorts of different topics being discussed there. Let me invite you in. There's some females in there lurking as well. You wouldn't be the only one. Nice, right? Uh, Tornado Garden says, I'll carry you in Fortnite any day. Oh, okay. I, mean, eh, I don't really play Fortnite. I, I could for you. Can we do the no-build Fortnite? Can we play no-build Fortnite where there's no, none of those stupid towers? I'm not into the towers. Anna Face is great name, totally fair as well. <laughs> You're watching my midlife crisis unfold. That's right. I'd say I'm getting to a peacefuler place in my midlife crisis. If you caught me back when I first started streaming about, not on this channel, but when I was doing corporate streaming, um, some of these guys know me from that show. When I was doing corporate streaming about three, almost three years ago now, Two and a half years ago when I first started, I look back on some of those old streams and I was not in a good way. I was very depressed. Uh, that's when I was going through like really the crux of my custody battle. And uh, woo, I'm a lot healthier now. I'm a lot healthier now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you met me at a better time. Shernette says, yay, lurking females, come say hi. They might. If you, jo if you join the server, they might see you and come say hi. Zaddy says, Jimmy, play Fortnite with me. All right. Fortnite Lego? <laughs> Radical Duck says, can you shout out to my friend Ray Sizem? He passed away a couple weeks ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. All right, rest in peace, Ray. And the face is so weird. I'm confused about this, but I like what, what even is Discord? So Discord is like, um, uh, how can I explain? Discord is chat rooms and DMs. It's like social media minus the public, hey, look at me aspect. Like there's no wall. There's no like Facebook wall or Instagram stories or there's none of that shit. You just join communities, build communities. You can DM with people on there. You can video call and you can stream gaming on there if you want. You can video stream to groups of people on there if you want. If you're old like me, then it, my best way, my quickest shorthand way to explain to older people is it's IRC for the modern era. It's a more media complete version of IRC. IRC were the old chat rooms back in the day or like on AOL and stuff like that. Zaddy says, also, I made you a rhyming anti-sex poem. It's my second best work. All right, that's good. Yeah, Discord is the cooler ICQ, says Zaddy. Uh, I, did ICQ have chat rooms? Maybe. Stream gaming and movie night, says Shernet. That's a good idea. Yeah, we will. Uh, we will. I got I to gotta start doing that on Twitch, though. The thing, Shernet, and for those of you new here, the thing about this, the reason you're looking at me on my phone and I don't have a proper, like, broadcast with design and graphics. I have all that stuff and I can do all that stuff and I have a better camera than this. But uh, YouTube does not like it. YouTube doesn't doesn't uh, push me in the algorithm 
and it doesn't put, push me into people's YouTube shorts feeds when I stream on my camera. Uh, it only does it when I stream on my phone. So we're growing this channel now a lot faster. We're growing by about like almost 100 subs a week now, I think. Maybe not quite that many. We'll, we'll, say, we'll say between 50 and 100 subs a week if I stream every day on my phone. When I was doing it on my camera, nothing, no growth. So that's an, if you guys ever start streaming, I would say vertical on your phone is the way to go. YouTube likes that. Also on Twitch, so I'll definitely support. Yeah, sure not. Yeah, I'm on Twitch. Well, I, I got to get active over there, though. Tornado says, I've considered Discord, but only so I can have my entire team broadcast on my Twitch and YouTube. Discord's my favorite social media, by the way. Uh, and it's it's still anonymous. Everyone uses usernames. YouTube hates anything but YouTube, says Shurnet. Yeah, truth. Nick says, I'm just old enough to remember chat rooms. Someone tried to, to uh, get me to tell them where I live to meet up with them. The sketchy early days of the internet, for sure. Shurnet says, that's very interesting. Must be a new thing. Seems to be a new thing. Radical Duck says, can you shout out to my friend Ray? I did. And uh, rest in peace, Ray. VR says, kind of funny how you're still rocking the, the anime banner. Oh, yeah, forever. Anna Faye says, at just Shurnet, no, YouTube even hates YouTube. YouTube hates horizontal YouTube, which is very fucking annoying. That's true. Tornado says, only vertical shows up in shorts on YouTube. Yep, you got to go vertical. Sub count moving up vertically to 840, 820 start a stream. Really? We're at 840 subs now. Holy shit. That's really good. That's fast. That means this stream we've had, like, yeah, like uh, quite a few subs. Okay, good. We'll keep going. Radical Duck says, can you shut up? Yeah, I did, buddy. Somebody time him out. Dr. H. Romeo says, hey, welcome from Brazil. Viewer says, uh, hold on, let me catch up. Viewer says, for posting non-shorts and lives, horizontal or vertical best, but I'm going to start posting. If you're doing pre-recorded content, then, then it doesn't matter. Uh, posting for non-shorts and lives, the horizontal is the standard for YouTube. So I guess horizontal if you're going to do that. Uh, have you seriously not seen my other messages as VR? I think I've seen them all. Nick says, I used to pose as a 12-year-old girl on Omegle and uh, get pedos IP addresses in their locations and send the logs and stuff to the local police. My God, doing the Lord's work. Shernet says, I'm not going to lie. YouTube recommended you to me twice before I actually chatted. Really? I wonder why. But Shernet, you mentioned that like you know what Twitch is. You're on Discord. So I think my category on YouTube is gaming. So that could be why. Maybe you've been looking at gaming stuff. That's good, though. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, if you guys are getting recommendations regarding this stream, please let me know because I'm trying to figure out how to how to grow this thing. I really appreciate it. All right, just Shernet. Nick is the goat. That's right. <clears throat> Made the right choice, Shernet, says Zaddy. By avoiding me? <laughs> Pardon me. Tail end of a flu. I guess buddy who said I was stuffed up was right. I guess I was. All right. Rock says dream. Dream. All right. Game don't bang on uh, our Discord server. We've got some news here. As the boys greet our new buddy, Queenette, who's giving us... Uh, how do you describe this pose on your, uh, your Discord uh, profile pic here, Queenette? It's kind of... I don't have the lips for it. It's more like, like this. What do we call this face? That's not duck face, right? That's duck face? Is this still duck face? It's like pufferfish face. Duck face? Yeah, I'm actually asking. What face is it? Duck face. It's still duck face? All right. Still duck face. Uh, Notorious, my friends left. I'm back, Buster. How'd your MK1 session go? You didn't tell me. Who do you main as in MK1? Who's your guy? I'm a sub-zero main myself, in case you were wondering. Uh, Shernet says, no problem. I was just scrolling YouTube shorts, which I never do. LOL, happy to be here. That's weird because my YouTube shorts, I never get recommended lives. Hmm. Zaddy's so saying duck face for real. Okay, duck face. I feared uh, if I can do that... I would I would cover most of my face with the duck face, so you have some semblance of an anonymity because we never recognize you on the street. That's actually pretty slick. Yeah, her PFP is like like this. So if you saw her, you know, online in a supermarket, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't creep on her. You wouldn't know to creep on her. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's smart. I gotta start doing that. Tanner, love your vids. Thanks, Tanner. What vids do you love? Do I do I even make vids? Does this count? Shernet says exactly. Yeah, you're clever. 
All right, VR says there's no sub-zero without scorpion. There's no scorpion without sub-zero. So true. The yin and the yang of the Mortal Kombat realm. Anna says, why do people keep leaving this stream? You're great, and I only just found you. Thanks, Anna. I appreciate you. I don't know. They pop in and out. You know, live streaming, it's interesting. So I live in Asia, right? Oh, new people. Here, let me show you where I live. Hold on. I haven't done this wrong. Nick, sorry. I was, I was just about to get into tech news, but I keep getting distracted. I'm basically a squirrel. Behold, the mega, mega, Megatron Tower. The mega, mega, Megatron Tower here that they're building outside my window. So I'm way up above the 20th floor. There's my garden downstairs. This is Beijing, China. See that? They've been building this thing, it feels like my whole life. I'm like nine months into a lease in this apartment building. Let's see if my neighbors are up to any no good today. Hold on. What are you guys up to over there? One of these guys has an Australian flag in his window. Where is he? I don't know if you guys can see that. There's an Aussie flag. Can you see it? Wait, try to point to it. It's right. Zaddy, do you see that? Zaddy's Australian. There's an Aussie flag. I want to go over there and see who the hell that is. Anyways. Show you the Beijing skyline if you're new here. Here's the fourth ring road, we call that. Beijing has a ring road system. Fourth ring road. Look at that traffic go. It's the afternoon here, as you can see. And then here's the famous uh, Beijing skyline. So I'm in a pretty good spot. And here's a cat. Stretching. Anyways, so that's where I'm at, in case you're curious, new people. Anna says, oh, wow, you're not... Not you casually giving away your location. Oh, I'll tell you exactly where I live. You want, you want to come to Beijing and find me? If any of you guys have the gumption to actually come to China and knock on my door, you can, you can stay here. Like, I will cook steaks for you. I'm lonely. No problem. I will dox myself all day. James, can you speak Mandarin? Yeah, I can speak some Mandarin. I can speak some Mandarin. Of course, we have to. Gives a tour of your castle, says John Deere. I'll find you, says Notorious Non-Racist. Come find me. Here, here's what it takes to find me. Be in Beijing and text me on Discord, and I will meet you. No problem. <laughs> I'd be happy to meet up with you guys. So there you go. So I don't, I don't mind. Don't tempt me, James. We'll be on the next plane. Come on over. Four hours ago, I watched Katie's Dead Nan. Ah, you've been around since back in the day. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Tanner, you watched one of the replay videos from one of the old streams. Oh, okay, okay. That was on Newegg. That was, that was, I was getting paid to do those streams. Crazy, right? All right, let me scroll up here. Hold on, I missed some comments. Zaddy says, that building is owned by Evergrande. That building ain't being built. Is that true? Did you actually look that up? Is it owned by Evergrande? That's a massive financial, I think it's an investment group. Okay, let me scroll up here a bit. It's all good. You'll get there at some point. I know how you work, says Nick. <laughs> Tornado Garden says, click a short and live will appear superimposed in the top. Oh, okay. So did you click one of my shorts and then it had a live tag? So are you getting recommended my shorts? Because my shorts are all these uh, mobile game. Oh, I got kicked out. My shorts are always mobile gaming commercials. Scorpion for life, says Zaddy. Duck face bypasses Apple face ID. Ah, Shernet's, Shernet's clever. Think about changing the PFP to an actual duck now, says Shernet. <laughs> All right. I'm learning about the shorts process. Give us a tour of your casa. My, my, my home is not in good condition right now. We'll, uh, cause I've, cause I've had the flu. I've been in bed for a few days. Um, we'll do that next week. I've taken you guys on a tour outside before. Remember you guys were asking me to see what's in a uh, Chinese 7-Eleven and I took you guys on that tour. John Deere says all the Americans too poor to even leave the state. My goodness. Nick says, don't tempt me, James. Okay. Uh, Josh, I'm in the elevator now. Well, come on up. Tornado Garden says, are e-bikes popular there? Yes, very popular here. 9 FNP says, what is this? Just a live streamer is chatting. Shunette says, xie xie. That's thank you in Chinese, in Mandarin Chinese. Zaddy says, RIP Katie's nan. Terrible situation. Yeah, Katie's grandmother did a swan dive off uh, the top steps inside her home and uh did her head on the what was it the radiator the wall radiator and she died and then uh, she was rushed to the hospital katie was reporting all all the goings on while we were streaming and actually her grandmother died live on stream 
And then her grandmother kind of resurrected and appeared to her as floating orbs of energy, which uh, we asked Katie to interact with, and she did. Yeah. It was, a, it was a really intense stream. Also that day, we sold some GPUs and some IPAs and pre-builds. Mm -hmm. Can you tell my friend to get off League? This is Notorious non racist Buddy, get off League. You've been playing League of Legends for 12 hours. It's time to do something else. Play some MK1. Bagel says, can you say Bagel 10 times? No. Notorious says, League of Legends. Zaddy says, they're a massive group. Now, now they're in a shit ton of debt. Talking about Evergrande? All right. Pawa Singh says, hello, cheap American captain. Hello. <clears throat> yes, I'm the wish Captain America. Tornado says, click any short, and it switches to a live flip through. Oh, okay. Josh says, yo, that's wild. Oh, nice sales. Poor Katie says, Zaddy. We also sold rocks. We did. We sold glowing rocks on the show. Okay. Now seems like a good time to dig up Nick's story. And I've got my uh, tech news glasses on, so you know it's serious. All right, uh, let me scroll up here. Where are we, where are we, where are we? Where is this story? What have you posted? Loot's Sandland demo is crisp and sharp, but lacks direction. The demo is not intuitive. It looks very nice though. Hmm, Sandland demo, okay. Some gaming news. Okay, Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra. Okay, new games coming out. At James, this one. Oh, that's the game. So IG, IGN has a trailer, a tech demo trailer of Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra. So some Avengers shit. All right, let me fire this up, Nick. It's on YouTube. Let's load it up on YouTube. Give me just a sec. It's my pleasure yeah. to introduce one of the greatest storytellers in video games, my good friend, Ian. Okay, number seven. All right, give me a sec here. Let's fire this up on YouTube, and I'll show you guys. I'll flip the camera around. We've got an ad playing. Seven days of the week. Seven wonders of the world. Culture is shaped by sevens. Experience the redefining BMW 7 Series now. Oh, that's bad copyright. It's my pleasure to introduce one of the greatest... All right, here we go. It's a tech demo of a new game here that's supposedly very impressive. LOL, yo, what's up, Nanya? I haven't seen you in a while. All right, let's have a look. <clears throat> Thank you, Tim. Uh, and look, we are so excited to finally show what we've been working on at Skydance New Media. Um, and I just got to say, I am so proud of what the team has accomplished. My God. It's incredible. I, um, Amy, I'm sure the audience is wanting to know more about your game and the team. Can you tell us about it? Sure. Well, I, as the trailer hopefully illustrates, uh, we are creating a story-driven World War II-era Marvel action-adventure game with an ensemble of playable heroes. But here's what's important to know. People might not think this. This isn't some custom demo that we made just for this show. That's our game. That is your right. Game. All the sequences you just saw in that trailer are all pulled right out of our game, running real time in Unreal Engine 5, no smoke and mirrors. Yeah. Okay, so this is Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> Technological breakthrough. Uh, Shunette's taking off. She's sick. My sick butt needs to get some sleep. Shunette, yeah, I just uh, getting over a flu myself. All right, take it easy, our fish-faced friend, and uh, hope to catch you again another time. Grass monkey, I don't trust her. All right, let's see what's going on here. Good night, Shunette, Susanna Faye. Very polite. Nanya beeswax, that's cool, though. All right, so let's have a look at what the hell is going on here. Unreal Engine 5. This Marvel game is directed by Amy Hennig, best known from her work on the original Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 games. Motion tracking is actually insane. For context, this game is Amy Hennig's game, the creator of Uncharted, when she used to work at Naughty Dog. And it shows as the story is very Uncharted-like. It's also a single-player game with four playable characters being developed on Unreal Engine 5, running in real time. Platforms are assumed to be PS5, Xbox, Series X, and PC. All right. Let's uh, get to the actual game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump ahead here. We've been able to leverage some of the new... Here we go. Let's have a look. So to create a really immersive game experience, <laughs> characters and environments have to work together harmoniously. We can't just drop believable characters into a less than convincing world. 
So we need to start with authentic and densely detailed environments as the setting to our story. And look, because part of our story is set in 1940s occupied Paris, we needed the world to have a really believable and visceral level of detail and grit, as you can see here. So Roman, why don't we focus on the ground here for a bit? Now look at that. That's an amazing amount of detail. It would have been nearly impossible to get something this complex to run in real time without the new features in 5.4. So, Kim, let's talk about some of the levels of detail that we're seeing here. Sure. So, we're talking about Nanite's new adaptive tessellation the moment. Let's go check out that fire barrel over by the watchtower we saw earlier. Yeah, catch up with Cap. All right, let's see how the heroes look here. Lucky number seven. Seven. Well, this ad plays. Hold on, let me flip this back around. So, the game is 1943. Marvel 1943 is the name of the game. And we're looking at real-time in-game Unreal Engine 5 rendering. All right, let me see what's going on in the chat here. Thanks, everyone. What's a pleasure. Fish face it is. All right, sure not. Uh, viewer says, come to LA if you're going to be homeless. I'll smoke you out. Deal. And the face has got to go, at least for now. I'll be back soon this was fun take care anna welcome back anytime all right anna says heart 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 all right there you go uh none of beeswax you know you can skip the ad not yet john deere says oh you zesty none of beeswax having a skip button for real <sighs> there's a skip button never used youtube before all right let's have a look at captain america so let's bring azuri t'challa's grandfather and our black panther into this scene, this time with his mask off. See how busted my monitor and is. I know who you are, <laughs> Captain America's hero, dancing around in red, white, and blue underwear. Wait, 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 wait. Why is Black Panther sounding like a Jamaican? What's what's this accent? It's not right. It's not a West African accent. That shield <laughs> that you hide behind does not belong to you. You are unworthy of it. What's this? Right, Nancy, pause this here, Roman. Why don't you go and read? What's this bullshit? Oh, okay. Yeah, right. That wouldn't be the Black Panther we know. Right, right, right. Generations ago. Well, this one's very aggressive. Really close, and can we show everybody? Still the wrong the accent. That we have in these models. Um, it's it's insane, right? This is fucking crazy. This looks like a this looks like a photo of a man. Like, uh, it's essential for us to retain every nuance of the outstanding performance that what our enough. actor Kari Look at the detail. To Azuri's character. What you just saw there were untouched MetaHuman animator songs. Mm -hmm. So working with the MetaHuman process, we've been able to honor our amazing actor performances and faithfully transform them into equally powerful digital performances. This is balls. I was already impressed with what Baldur's Gate 3 did with their cutscenes. This is balls. All right. What else we got? Remember, <clears throat> running entirely in real time. Awesome. That's far enough. I'm here on the business of the United States government. This is not the only business here. Stay out of my way. Stand aside. I do not take orders from anyone. Turn around, boy. Go home. Look, pal, I don't know who you are. But I know who you are, Captain America's hero, dancing around in red, white, and... All right. All right, so that's a bit of a demo. So that's a game to keep an eye on, 1940, Marvel 1943. <clears throat> Viewer, I lived in South Africa for five months. It's so cool to understand a bit of the Wakandan language, uh, which is Shosa on screen. Viewer, John's description is so accurate. What did John say? Let me scroll back up. John's description is accurate. Oh, Josh's description is accurate. Josh said, looks like a bad movie equals good looking game. <laughs> That's about right. Okay, we had a look at that. Nick's, uh, Nick's in all about this because he's an Unreal Engine artist himself, and he's creating a whole ass movie in Unreal Engine 5. So it's crazy to see what it's capable of. Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna get to something else here real quick. Uh, Nick also had some AI stuff from NVIDIA revealing some robots. 
creepy. John Deere is asking, where in South Africa did you live, viewer? Do we have a South African connection in the chat? But uh, what I want to get into before we get out of here, we're two hours into the stream now, is I'd like to get into the Steam sale because we just glossed over it the other day. And we're going to see what else is on sale over at, uh, at Steam. So in case you missed it, Steam's having a big spring sale until the 21st U.S. time. <clears throat> Pardon me. Viewer says, Joburg, Johannesburg, for four months going to a squatter camp and Cape Town for a month. Oh, what are we doing over there? That's interesting. Dream Man says, hey, man. Hey, what's up, buddy? Okay. Pen back to Steam. We're going to see if we can dig out some, some nuggets. Let's have a quick look. Steam Spring Sale. So you've got about 24 hours to go on this Steam Spring Sale. There's a lot of good stuff here. Josh, let's take a look at the clearance, says Josh. Let's take a look at the clearance. Let's go. On sale now, Steam Spring Sale. All right, let's see what we got. And uh, you guys were asking me yesterday to sort by percent off. So uh, we'll try to do that here today. Although my currency is now, let me see what it set my currency on. Yesterday it was Hong Kong dollars. Because remember, I'm using a VPN to get through the Great Firewall of China to be, even be able to talk to you guys. So I get thrown into different regions automatically. Uh, okay. Steam sale. Let's go. Where are you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, celebrating one year of Steam Deck with a discount. It's already been a year since the Steam Deck dropped. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, give me a sec. Where's our list from yesterday? Ah, here it is. Steam Spring Sale 2024 in the U.S. Checking if the site connection is secure. Are you a human? Hold on, i got a CAPTCHA to do. Because, again, VPN. They don't like me very much. For just joining me, this is Super Tech Deals Live. Sort of. We haven't gotten into any Super Tech Deals yet today. We're about to get into some game sales. Henry says, have you ever met a follower on Kanegagar? Trying to get me to say bad words. John Deere says, well, that's awesome. I've heard it can be very dangerous. But other than that, I've only heard good things regarding South Africa. Tornado Garden says, I'm dipping. Great stream. Peace, love, and chicken grease, sir. Peace, love, and chicken <laughs> grease be on to you, sir. All right. Caught up. John Deere, well, that's awesome. All right, caught up with that comment too. As the chat slows down and we start to drift off to sleep, I'm going to help you guys do just that. Okay, so let's sort by percent off. Here we go. Whoa! All right, top of the list, we've got Battlefield 3, 95% off. Oh, yes! Finally, got my goddamn prices in US dollars. All right, let's check it out together. Boys, boys, this is big news, boys. Uh, let me flip this around. Mm -hmm. Josh says, bro, almost trapped you. There's Lazel. Got, got Lazel watching my back. All right, hold on. Can you see the list? I think we can see the list. Let me, let me move this down a little bit. Deployment should be top. Okay. Squish this a little. Okay. This looks like a usable list, sort of. Move this down. Oh, that's the Discord. Move this down a little bit. Okay. Okay. You can kind of see now. All right. Top of the list. So 95% off. Isn't this, a, isn't this a dumb way to do this? <laughs> Viewer, they chose it for the language of Wakanda because it's also John Canny's tribe and language, Black Panther's dad. Oh, okay. Nick says, James, watch that whole tech demo when you get a chance. You like the tech that's involved? I definitely will. All right, Steam sale. Let's go. I feel like I need to angle this a little bit better. Is that just about dead nut center? Just about. Yeah? Hold on. See, I really wish I could just use OBS and just have this on screen, but I can't. You guys know why. The algorithm hates it. The algorithm loves my phone. All right, so let's go through this together. So deployment is now 98% off. Time lock VR, I don't even know what these are. Now Battlefield 3, I have no, I have no wish to purchase, but is only $1.99. Star Wars Squadrons. Is this any good? I've never played this game. This dropped in October 2020. Star Wars Squadrons is only $2 right now on Steam. 
Viewer says, yeah, it got ways, way worse over the last 10 years to narrow the... Whoa, 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 let me scroll here. Give me a sec. Portal is 99 cents. Yes, that's correct. Portal is 99 cents. Why so cheap? That's insane, even if they are older games. I know, right? Dream Man says, do you watch Lioness Tech Tips? Never heard of it. John Deere says, pretty wild. Freestyle song about kissing men. Uh, I will not. Viewer says, yeah, it got way worse the last 10 years to narrow the situation down. It's basically like if the Native Americans survived and then took over government before getting educated, so is the population. All right, we're not going to get into politics. What's XCOM 2 about, asked Josh. <laughs> XCOM's a good game. I mean, if you like the turn-based combat idea from Baldur's Gate 3, it originates in a series called XCOM. And we actually call these games XCOM Light or XCOM Like or... Uh, it's a genre. So XCOM 2 is the sequel to the famous DOS game. XCOM, you are a squadron of humans fighting an alien invasion off one uh, battle at a time. You, you you use landscape. Let me see if I can bring up some graphics from XCOM. Graphics are pretty good in this game, actually, in XCOM 2, I, I have to say. And it's a well-reviewed game. It's worth rolling the dice on two ninety nine for that, but yeah, you use your uh, environment to your advantage. You have melee and uh, distance w range weapons, high tech weapons. Deadly Premonition Director's Cut. Not familiar with this. Ninety five percent off. Warhammer End of Times Vermintide. God damn it! I bought this like a year ago for a lot more than this. This game's good. I recommend this game. Two twenty four. Ninety five percent off for Warhammer End Times Vermintide. Portal, 99 cents. Should we add that to cart? I don't have Portal right now. 99 cents. Screw it. I think we're going to add that to cart. Throw that in a new tab. Portal. Uh, what else we got? To the Rescue, $4. One Dog Story, 83 cents. See, any, anything else you're catching your eyes, guys? Let's see. Oh, Dex. Yeah, that game's not good. New historical low, 92% off, $1.59. I wouldn't pay $1.59 for that, and I own the game. I bought that game, and it hoodwinked me because the artwork was really good. But uh, unfortunately, the game sucks. John Deere says, none yet. Prices vary on where you're located. Correct. What are we playing, James, says TY. Chivalry 2. Go buy Chivalry 2. Nick says, I have to watch the stream in 360p because it keeps buffering at high res for some reason, so I just see a blur on your screen. Oh, okay. Treat it like a podcast for now. Josh says, sounds like my kind of game. Won't lie. If you like that kind of game, I'd also recommend a game called Hard West. If you like the Western, Weird West aesthetic. John Deere says, I'm like 90% sure you can use a VPN to buy them cheaper. I don't know, though. Steam is pretty good at busting you if you're trying to fake your region. All right, let me keep scrolling. What else we got? Need for Speed Unbound, six ninety nine, ninety percent off. Mm, Leisure Suit Larry, Wet Dreams Dry Twice. No, that's a sex positive game. Cannot recommend. Half Life Alex, Final Hours, ninety percent off, seventy nine cents. Okay, some crazy sales here. All right, let me keep scrolling. See if anything else catches our eye. Uh, let's see. Nope. Pro Cycling Manager, 99 cents. No, I'm good. American Fugitive, $1.99. Bee Simulator, $1.99. Bee Simulator. Remember a game called Sim Ant? Do you guys remember that from the 90s? Sim Ant, where you, like, controlled an ant colony? I played way too much Sim Ant on my Mac LC2 when I was a child. Sim Ant, baby. I imagine Bee Simulator might be similar. The Beast Inside, $249, 90% off. Moto GP18, 90% off. Buck 99 for that. More Leisure, Se Leisure Suit Larry, Wet Dreams Don't Dry. We're going to skip that. All right. That's our first page. Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game. $1.99. What the fuck? MK11 and Titanfall is notorious. Are you going to buy those? Need for Speed just needs to be sold at Walmart, <laughs> says Josh. John Deere, have you played Half-Life? Sure. Uh, Notorious says MK11 and Tidefall. Pembroke, Sim Ant was fun. Oh, my God. Somebody remembers Sim Ant? 
What category did you search on Steam, says Mick. I just searched for their spring sale. So my current filters, you can see at the top, are 50% off or more and 60% rating or better and 500 reviews or better. So it's like, yeah, it's well-reviewed games that are super cheap right now. Although I find it hard to believe that Monster Energy Drinks game fall, falls into that criteria. That's very sussy-wussy. Outcast, Second Contact. You guys remember Outcast? That was a classic. They made Second Contact. I never played this, I guess, the sequel from 2017. 90% off. Uh, not feeling it. What else we got? Serious Sam, 90% off. That was a good title. You guys remember Serious Sam? An innovative FPS game from way back in the day. Uh, let's see here. Neon Space, Too Dark, Dungeon Rushers, Candle. Oh, that was in my wish list over on GOG. 99 cents for Candle, indie game. Cool artwork, like a platformer slash puzzler, I guess. Oh, Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun. This game's actually pretty good. Uh, Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun is one of those top-down 3D uh, kind of isometric... Um, you're sneaking around. You're sneaking around in this game. Stealthing around. You're a, you're a bit of a ninja. But uh, the artwork's quite nice. 90% off. If you're into those stealth games, I, I, would, I would get this. $3.99 right now. Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun. Okay. Anything else we recognize? Nope. Nothing on this page. Going to the next page. We're combing through. SimCity 2000 says Pembroke. Oh, that was one of my favorites ever. Notorious says, I was just seeing games that caught my eye. Oh, okay. Pembroke says, my first video game was Magnavax Odyssey in 1975. Ooh. Damn you old, says John Deere. What was the Magnavax Odyssey? Hey, Pembroke, do you remember um, Vectrex? Do you remember the vector-based take-home like mini arcade game? It was like the size of like half of a, uh, uh, a tube television set and the controllers were wired into it. And it was like a one piece. You just plugged in and played at home. It had the monitor baked in and Vectrex. Vectrex was way ahead of its time because they're able to create 3D spaces using vector images. Guilty Gear was down there, says Notorious. Yeah, I grew up, my buddy had a Vectrex, which blew my mind, and I had a ColecoVision which absolutely shit on Atari. And this came up in our Discord server recently. Like this, this Atari brand nostalgia, it's like, where's this even coming from? Atari sucks. Like Atari sucked to me. Did it have a tank game? Yes, yes, that was the 3D one. I believe that was the first playable 3D game ever, Pembroke, yes. Vectrex had the tank game. That's right. It also had some other cool games. Nick says, you're really aging yourself with vector graphics. I would still play those games right now. If I had this in front of me, I'd still play them and enjoy playing them. They were good games. They were well-designed games. They had another one that was kind of like, um, it was like a space fight fighting game, top-down spa spaceship game where you could play different spaceships and you fired torpedoes and lasers at each other and you went at it. You had like spaceship dogfights. It was great. It was a little bit like Omega Race, but it was just open. It didn't have the Omega Race maze that you're in. Nick says, yeah, they were good. They help, They hold up well. They're, I mean, that era for video games, obviously, like, I'm not going to recommend people in their 20s get into 1980s video games because it's, like, it's just so foreign to young people now. But those were well-designed, well-crafted games. Like, they're still playable. They're still challenging the challenge would ramp up incrementally. Like they're really, really well planned out, well organized games. Notorious says, I gotta go. It's getting late. I'm trying not to stay up late anymore. Have a good day, Buster Brown. Take care, buddy. TY says, James, what type of music do you listen to? Um, I listen to a lot of old school house music when I'm like working and stuff like that. I, I tend to stay away from music with a lot of heady lyrics when I'm trying to get stuff done. So that's my favorite, like kind of upbeat background music. But I listen to everything, man. I listen to all sorts of rock music, rap music, electronic music. Uh, there's no one genre I stick to. I love Defender in the Arcade, says Pembroke. Me too. But my, my favorite arcade game from that kind of side-scrolling genre was actually a game called 
Cosmic Avengers. I think it was better than Defender. They kind of took the Defender idea and updated it. It was a newer game, so it had better graphics. And it was really, really good in the arcade. And you got to kind of dive bomb a, uh, a city that had all this anti-aircraft uh, missiles firing at you. And they scrambled jets to fight you. You're like, you were the aggressor attacking a space age city cosmic avengers great game nick says you mean you don't like the et game for the atari lol that almost killed the video game industry yeah considered widely to be uh the worst game of all time worst game ever made nick i gotta tell you man having grown up with the atari like my best friend growing up had an atari and he had a lot of cartridges and those games fucking sucked man have you heard of imminence says josh i have not is that a good rock band I'm looking for modern rock. I'm looking for modern rock because Chicken and I, we realize like rock music's kind of dead and it's sad to me. That's that's one genre of music that I think really, I feel like I caught the tail end of uh, having grown up in the 80s and 90s. It was like, we saw Rage Against the Machine's Evil Empire album and Tool's albums always be top selling albums. And then going into the 2000s, it was like, that was kind of the end of that. That was kind of rock. Rock topping the charts disappeared. And now it's if, when I look at the charts, I'm like, there's no rock music in it at all. It's all this kind of new style rap music, which is fine. It's kind of poppy rap music, which is fine. I'm not hating on it. I like uh, Juice World's music. I like, I like a lot of uh, modern artists. But uh, it was just kind of sad to me. I, I, I like rock to stick around and survive, survive as a genre. So if you have any rock recommendations, I'll check it out. Josh says, eh, it's more orchestral rock. Okay. Pembroke says, I hated Atari. Horrible graphics. Really, really bad arcade ports. Uh, Atari was the worst at doing it. ColecoVision and Television were way better. Way better graphics. Atari was crap. But also the Atari had a joystick and one button. And that's it. So what the fuck are you supposed to do as a game dev if you're given a, a joystick and one button versus the ColecoVision controllers had one, two, they had a full number pads. So they had all those buttons, which some games utilize, but they also had two trigger buttons on the side and a joystick. So they had at minimum two quick access buttons. So you could do twice as much when you're developing a game, but then they also had the number pad. And if you bought the Super Action controller, that had a handle with one, two, three, four buttons here, a joystick on top, a roller, and a number pad. So think of the possibilities. So they started to release games that were for the Super Action controller only because they utilized all those different buttons. So you had football games, you had baseball games, you had all these pre-coded plays mapped to all these different buttons. It was way ahead of its time. Amazing. Versus you go across the street to your buddy's house, he has a fucking Atari with one button. What? What? And the games were so primitive. Some of y'all should have been, should have seen the shenanigans we got up to back in the New Egg streams as VR. What'd you get up to? I used to get trolled a lot harder over there. Josh says, I still got my pocket-sized Atari. Its battery's going out, sadly. It's the only piece of my childhood still intact. Pocket-sized Atari? <clears throat> Atari made a mobile system? I have a joystick, says Zaddy. Not that joystick, you pervert. Nick says, yo, the Atari games are terrible, and anyone that likes them is, are just liking nostalgia. Anyone who thinks Atari games were good wasn't there. It's fake nostalgia. You were not, you were not alive during that time. I'm sorry. You, you were not alive. You were not there. You did not grow up in the 80s. Anyone who actually grew up in the 80s knows Atari sucked. It was the worst. Everything else was better. We all knew that. Even the Commodore VIC-20 had better games, and like a lot better. All right, I think we're caught up. The trolling is what I'm referencing, says VR. Yeah, we had a lot more aggressive trolls uh, in the New Egg days, for sure. Okay, let me see what else is on this list as we're mowing through it here. 24 hours left on Steam Spring Sale. So I feel like I have to buy some stuff. I bought uh, a few games yesterday that I had my eye on for a while including Chivalry 2. If you guys want to play a uh, run around and hack and slash in a medieval battle arena game with me, come play Chivalry 2. It's on sale right now. I had to buy it because it was only five bucks in the Thai region, which is what my Steam account is in. Five bucks? 
cash, baby, money well spent. Because I've already played that game for a couple hours and got my five dollars worth. It's super fun. Recommended. Uh, let's see, Rebel Galaxy, ninety percent off. Okay, I like this type of game usually. Haven't played that one. Oh, there's Metro, which Nick already gifted me. Oh, 90% off. Guys, Metro 2033, if you want to get into the Metro series, is only $1.99. Let's go, Metro series. So Metro 2033 dropped in uh, 2014, and the graphics are still really good. I was playing it on stream with uh, where Lucy was playing it. If you want to check that, check out that video, she's Russian. Metro is a Russian game based on a Russian novel. Or it might be a Ukrainian novel, sorry. Russian language novel, series of novels, and there's a series of games. Uh, basically, it's Fallout. It's a first-person shooter where um, the world has been taken over by mutants post post nuclear apocalypse. Brave Land, ninety percent off, ninety nine cents for that. What else we got? Anything good? Mm, nope. Going on to the next page. We're four pages deep, and we're still finding games for like ninety nine cents. Oh, Stronghold Crusader 2, 90% off. That game sucks. Get the original. The original Stronghold Crusader, I really hope Firefly Studios does a remake for it. Does a definitive edition for it because that game's fucking rad. Maybe my favorite RTS game of all time. Stronghold Crusader. I uh, build a castle and defend it and attack other people's castles. But the, the economy is really clever. Half-Life, 99 cents. The original Half-Life. You know what? I think I'm going to get that. I think I'm going to get that. 99 cents. 1998 Classic. I just want to support. 1998 Classic. I'd rather own that on GOG, though. I'll have to go over there and see if GOG's got that on sale, too. Sometimes they mirror each other. Steam and GOG, the sales. Tomb Raider, 98 cents for Tomb Raider Underworld. Mm-hmm. And that's all for this page. Going on to page five. Uh, Tomb Raider 5 Chronicles, 97 cents. Dungeon Siege and Dungeon Siege 2, both 97 cents. I mean, you could really, really fill out a game collection with this shit right now, like all, all these 99 cent games. For less than three bucks, you can pick up hundreds of games right now on Steam. Hundreds and hundreds of titles. Hmm. All right, I'll do one more page. Page six, Fury Unleashed. I actually have that game. I don't recommend it. It's a platform shoot 'em up. Uh, anything else here? Oh, Bioshock Two Remastered for two ninety nine. Good. Everspace two ninety nine. Mm, let's see. DSX Mankind Divided, the sequel to DSX four forty nine. That dropped in twenty sixteen. Eh, might be worth five bucks. If you like the original DSX, you'll like that. Hotline Miami 2, 224. Haven't played the sequel yet. Big fan of Hotline Miami. Which reminds me, I'm on the end boss on that game. I gotta go back and finish that. The final boss fight's hard. All right, so that's six pages deep. The Steam sale, you get the idea. Oh, Faces of War. Faces of War. 74 cents. That game's kind of cool, actually. That's a uh, Russian... World War II kind of squad game. I have that game on GOG. It's kind of cool. Runs on a potato. All right, let me flip you guys back around and talk to you. Hello! <gasps> Two hours and 23 minutes into this thing. We're still going, but nobody's watching anymore. We're going to wrap up. We had a good run. Josh says, GameCube was a decent chunk of my memories. GameCube? Makes sense. The Lynx was ahead of its time. Oh, yeah. Nick says, if you buy Half-Life through Steam, the money goes right to Valve since they are the developers. Good point. Good point. It's like if you buy um, Cyberpunk on GOG, right? CD Projekt Red owns both. I think I'll buy Half-Life. No, I think I'll have Half-Life. Is that something that might be fun to, to play a bit of uh, on Twitch? Or maybe get Lucy to play it? Lucy is 30 years old, so I don't know if she's ever played the original Half-Life. Probably not. I'm going to buy that. that. That's one of the... Yeah, I'd like to see how a young person reacts to Half-Life, like how the graphics still hold up. I feel like they hold up. Pembroke says, I had a Dreamcast, which was an awesome console, but not enough games were made for it. PlayStation killed it. 
right. Sega Dreamcast, that's right. Nick says, yeah, you should play some older games on Twitch so people can see them. For sure, I'm going to do that. Next week, baby, let's go. So I'm going to kill this stream in a second because uh, I've got to work on my graphics package for OBS. I'm going to be doing Twitch, obviously, in a horizontal layout and uh, doing it on camera with the lights and the green screen and the OBS. I'm going to do a proper broadcast on Twitch starting next week. We're starting from zero. So hopefully some of you guys will come over and hang out with me on Twitch. My concept, again, for Twitch, I have a name for a show I'm going to be doing over there, there also on my James Midlife Crisis account. But the idea is I'm going to have guests on, and they're going to play games that they've never played or they're not probably not super familiar with. But anyways, they're going to play some games on there that I curate and that we curate together. And they'll probably play each game for about 30 minutes. We'll do three games, so we'll do about a two-hour stream over there per episode. And uh, we'll get them to choose which game's their favorite. We'll, we'll get into some discussion. But I'll get into some game trivia, some facts, some history, some lore with each of the titles that we feature. So that we're going to give some love to some indie games, some more obscure games, some older games over there. And we'll see if there's an audience for that type of show. And uh, I'll host it like we're doing a proper TV show. I used to do a combat sports show like this where we would curate... Uh, different kickboxing, MMA, and boxing fights. So we'd have different genres of fighting in all in one episode. We'd tell the, the history of these fights, why they're significant. We'd watch the fights together, and then we would discuss them. I, I, I'd bring on a guest to do that. So uh, that's the uh, that's the idea. A game show, game show, says Pembroke. Kind of like that, yeah. Anna Faye says, I was actually able to work on my presentation because of you, so thank you. Really? How did we help? <laughs> I thought we would have been a distraction, but uh, that's excellent, Anna. I hope that goes very well for you. Cool. Enjoy my time here again, says Josh. Thanks for dropping by, buddy. You can title it Boomer Plays Old Games, LOL. Well, we won't just play old games, though, because I want to show some love to some newer indie titles that I like as well. For example, Dead Cells, Blasphemous, Blasphemous 2, um, Hunt Down. These are like platformers and indie games that I really like. So I don't want to just stick to like boomer shooters or something like that. I feel like there's other old men who are already doing that. Um, so I don't want to like box myself in, if that makes sense. Pembroke says, uh, and then there is the 3DO. So much promise, but not enough games as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, Twitch soon. We'll get on Twitch next week, but I'll keep doing these. And it says, so thank you. Josh says, stop simping. She's not simping. <laughs> Nobody can be polite to anyone else unless, unless it's called simping. It's a bit mean. Pembroke says he's Gen X, not Boomer. I'm a Boomer. That's 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 accurate, yeah. I'm Gen X. I was born in 1981. Pembroke was born... Are you a Boomer, Pembroke? I guess I guess you would be, right? You were born in the 70s? Mm-hmm. So between me, Pembroke, and you guys, we span many, many ge generations. And Pembroke saw the really, really beginning, beginning, beginning of video games. Oh, 1963. Damn. I like having you around, buddy. Pembroke, do you still play games? I think you do, right? Because I think we've talked about some of this stuff before. But yeah, having been born in 81, I can remember, because we still had the old, we still had an original uh, telecast Pong game, which was just a console with knobs on it that we hooked up to the TV. Like I, We still had tech left over from the, from the 70s. So we had all that stuff, but you were there. You were young when that, that stuff came out, but uh, not that young. You were a teenager. I was a uh, a toddler when we had that stuff in the house. Uh, Pembroke has stories to tell. He does. Nish says, bah, humbug. Nish, another old boomer in the mix. Pembroke says, hell yes. You still play games. It's cool. You've seen the whole thing. Pembroke, I have a question for you and for Nish, for you older heads in here. Did you guys ever have a Mac Plus? And did you ever play Dark Castle? Dark Castle is a, game, a boomer game I like talking about. Circa 1982-3, I think it dropped. That game was so ahead of its time because you used a mouse to aim your rocks that you threw. You were a guy going, and the graphics were so good. The artwork still holds up. It's still so good. But the way you actually played the game, it was, it was a side-scrolling platformer where you would position the mouse would affect the angle of your man's arm, and then when you clicked, he'd throw a rock. That was an amazing game. 1968 reporting says Nish. 68, damn. 
Pembroke says, my dad worked for at and so I had a lot of gadgets. Oh, cool. VR says, Dan Pembroke, you're an OG. I already knew you were wise after today. Josh says, falls asleep as soon as he starts talking about old games. <laughs> it's the legacy of games, man. It's very interesting. I think it's very interesting. For me, it's like, because I love talking about movies and shows and all the behind-the-scenes stuff and all of these the stories about how, for example, I could talk for an hour about even just the film Casablanca and all the uh, the woes and trials and t tribulations that went into making that classic film. Every video game has a story like that too, how they're developed, and then all through the uh, through the '90s, watching uh, the John and John saga, John Carmack, John Romero, very very interesting stories, and the the bubble bursting on video games back then, like. Yeah, just everything that went on in that industry. And whenever you can talk to someone who actually worked in that industry at that time, they have so many interesting behind-the-scenes stories. I had a 512 Mac SE, Mac 2 LC, Mac 2 CI, Power Mac Quadro 950. Oh, I had a Mac LC, I had an LC2, I had a Mac Plus, I had a Performa 5260, um, and then a the Performa was our first Power Mac, as they were called back then. Cool name, actually, Power Mac. Cool name. And then uh, the G3. We had a G3. That was the other, the last Mac that we owned. I love gambling with my boys, says VR. TOI says, James, could you read the first page of Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss? I don't have that book handy, so I can't. VR says, anybody here ever played Russian roulette with fake guns? Funniest shit ever. Uh, I have not. Remember, uh, Nick says, my dad was born in 61. All right, I think we're all ca caught up. We're going to get out of here. Josh says, before you end the stream, we need to riz up without the glasses and make a kissy face while raising your right eyebrow. We're good? We can end the stream? To end the show? We'll do it live. Thank you very much for joining me for another edition of Super Tech Deals Live. We got into some deals today, some game deals. Uh, take advantage of that, guys. The Steam Spring Sale, another 24 hours. Uh, it lasts until the 21st. I guess 11.59 on the 21st. Um, but yeah, check that out. Lots and lots of games for 99 cents, games that you probably wouldn't normally play. Could be interesting. Could be some fun rat rabbit holes to go down as gamers. So uh, yeah, check that out. I'm going to head over to GOG as well. I may be streaming tomorrow. I normally have, uh, it's Friday tomorrow my time, Thursday night your time. I normally have work booked. I hope I have work booked because I need the money, but uh, they haven't said anything to me yet. So if uh, I'm not doing acting work tomorrow, I'll be back on stream. I had a, I had a lot of fun. I had a blast. We had some new faces in here. Bye, says Anna Faye. Bye, Anna. Awesome stream, says Josh. Thanks, buddy. James, if you like old computer tech, look up the YouTube channel, Michael MGD, MJD. I will. I, I do like old computer tech. That, for me, is nostalgic. Uh, once again, I just Atari sucks. Uh, so don't be nostalgic for Atari. But you know what? I want to go look online now. I'm going to go go on Taobao and see if I can find some old ColecoVision artwork on, on T-shirts or posters. Or I'm kind of uh, feeling nostalgic for my ColecoVision days. I love that game system so much. And that was really my introduction to gaming in the 80s. This stream was acceptable, says Nish. That's high praise from him. Why you look like the ant from The Bug's Life? Oh, because my antenna maybe? It's a fair point. By going the crap to your band, says Eugene. Call Josh buddy. Make Josh feel special. Josh, you're my buddy. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, if you are feeling a bit of anxiety, you don't know where it's coming from, uh, get to sleep early. Keep your phone out of your bedroom. Go for a long walk. Break a sweat. Eat healthy. Your chemicals will rebalance. We're here for you. If there's anything you ever want to talk about, any anything you want to vent about, you can hit me up on Discord, James Midlife Crisis. Or just join us anytime for these impromptu live streams. We're always streaming around 7 p.m. Pacific or 8 p.m. Pacific time, somewhere there, there a boot, say. Eh? Uh, so hope you'll join us again. Write that channel down, James. You'll like it. Michael MJD. Michael MJD. I don't have a pen. Uh, I got a pencil here. Hold on. Let me write it down. Michael MJD. I'm going to also write down by half life. By half life. Okay. Noted. Thanks, guys. Uh, Till next time, love you, have a good one, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.